Hi, chat. Hello. How are you? Ladies and gentlemen, programs and users. Hi, it's Friday. Do you know where your video games are? I bet you you do, because they're right here. Chat, I'm going to give you all a break. We're, uh, we're not jumping back into Entrouded as much as I am enjoying that game. No, 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 no. We are going to be jumping back into Star Citizen today. The reason we're jumping back into Star Citizen is twofold. Actually, technically, I guess it's threefold. One, it's Coromor, which is Star Citizen's version of... Don't you scare me, sir. Don't you even start, you son of a bitch. That's right, it's Coromor. It's a Star Citizen's version of Valentine's Day. It's a week-long celebration. All kinds of goodies go on. And it is also the Red Festival, which is effectively the Chinese New Year in Star Citizen. So we're going to see what kind of treats and tricks we can find all over the verse. Hey, uh, while I'm at it, hold on. Also, we're you, SOB. It's a, hey, no, no. Y'all want Salty, go watch Salty Mike. I'm definitely not Salty. You're looking for Salty, you're in the wrong place. No. You want Salty, especially regarding Star Citizen, well, you're going to have to go to Salty Mike's stream. <laughs> Scam! Uh, actually, the funny thing is, is we can listen. Listen, okay? We have. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, okay. Well, first of all, we've got that. That's one of my favorites. There we go. Also, that one. <laughs> and my personal one of my personal favorites here you go bad bad chat i didn't scam you into start to play this you chose to make that you chose to jump in on this you watched it you liked it it made you it made you you know listen you got a little listen you know it's okay you got a little gamer chub it's okay it's all good I just happen to be, listen, remember the first taste is always free after that. Pay up. Pay up. Now, I've broken the tantamount, paramount, number one and only rule that you ever have as a pusher or dealer. You never use your own product. But. But. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Calls with scams. Listen, I'm not a robocall. How dare you? I do. I don't take kindly the, the insinuation that I ha I am a robocaller and I'm in fact a an artificial being. I'll start with you. I'll start with you, sir. Oh, I'll start with you. So apparently we are now patched over to 3.22.0a. I want my sub back. Well, I mean, you can cancel your subscription. There's no law saying you cannot. Hi, Casper. Oh, Canadian Gamer. Zool, hello. Hi, Audi. How are you? You know, it's funny. We we seem to have... We, we seem to have an awful lot of activity in chat, and yet chat only shows there's two bodies in here. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Makes zero sense. Come on, Twitch. Get your shit together. Ah! Uh, Let's just say this. Uh, what do we got? Technically, we have 14. I'm here. We're 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 we are AI bodies. All bodies? AI bodies? What? Flesh popsicles? No, it's a meat popsicle. It's a meat popsicle. <laughs> no, 
Negative, I am a meat popsicle. Corbin Dallas. <laughs> Corbin Dallas. Negative, I am a meat popsicle. <laughs> Turns out the only thing that makes humans unique in the galaxy is we're only survive the only surviving wielders of sarcasm. <laughs> there you go. That's right. Yeah, it's 12 degrees. Oh, it's beautiful outside. I already took the dog out. Took the dog out. Got some natural sunlight in my eyes. It was beautiful out. It's 12 degrees C here. It's beautiful. I thought, listen, I thought you're in Arizona. How the hell is it only 10 degrees Celsius? Yeah, that's not a terrible idea, Zool. Trust me, you don't need don't you don't need a big heavy coat. You don't need the hat. You just go outside, just enjoy. The breeze is so breezy. It's so beautiful. It's like, oh, it's so good. It is so good. It's just like, oh my. Oh yeah. Oh, just. Mmm. Mmm. And then, and then you're just what? Oh. I, I mean, it's just so good. It's just so good. That's all there is to it. It's beautiful weather route. Enjoy it while we can, right? No, that was this morning, Zool. <laughs> And chat, before you d get your mind out of the gutter, all of you, I know y'all thinking it. I know y'all thinking it, and it's, you're, you're all being dirty. I get it. Y'all being dirty. Well, don't. I didn't put it in the gutter. You put it in the gutter. Oh, yeah. What I said, but if you misinterpreted it, as something dirty, that is on you. Not on me, that is where your brain went. Can't pin that on me, that is your brain, not mine. Okay, 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 as long as we're all clear on this. God damn. Damn, y'all threw down like freaking $65 in biddies yesterday trying to troll in the hell out of Zool and I good lord that's a lot that's a lot chat holy lord that's a lot hi Texas Toast hey I see how are you been how, did you survive your uh, vacation I like that she's like I'll take the blame yeah no, it's always dad's fault. You did survive. Well, I'm glad you survived. Do you feel rested or do you feel like you need a vacation after your vacation? I don't have sound, so I hear nothing. Well, hopefully you've got closed captioning on. I need a vacation. You need a vacation after your vacation. You know, that's generally uh, an indication that your vacation was not restful or a vacation. <laughs> so what's up with this replay? What can I experience when I play tonight? Server lag. Server lag. The free fly always induces server lag for a week. Without fail. Without fail. Always and forever. Server lag. Uh, no, 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 it's a free fly. Guess what? There is a free fly. Experience it at Star Citizen for free. Take to the skies. Follow the steps below to download Star Citizen for free and explore the universe in five legendary ships through February 15th. If you're signing up with a referral code, don't forget to add the code upon account creation. Click here for more information. So, something else you get to do is you get to uh, enjoy uh, flying in five different vehicles. One of them being the uh, Origin 100i. By the way, I did my races last night and I actually made it to the top split. Nice. GG's, man. All right, Toast. Cheers, man. Thanks for... Uh, 
30k, that's right, 30k central. Oh god, free fly, rip, guess I'm not playing. I mean, here's the thing though, uh, we're not having problems with 30k. Only a 100, well, 100 I. There's five ships in total. There's five ships in total, okay? Okay, five. Five, chat. Five ships in total, okay? This many. Only five, yeah, only five, in, well, yeah, the free play is only until February 15th, and you only get five ships to try out during the free fly. Now, those free, sh those five ships are given to you for the free fly event. And, yeah, that, that, why? You think they're going to give us access to every single ship for a free fly? Fuck that. Hell no. Oh, hell no. Nope. No, no, no. A free fly is a limited time offer. They do not give us access to everything. They give us a limited access to a couple of things. That's the way it's always been, too. Always been that way. Um... It's always been that way. Initial head begin blending. Hey, there we go. Okay, uh, here, please. Hi. Cycle through. Uh, nope. That's, there we go. Okay, that, that's looking a little... Wow, ah, uh, oh, wow, those are some... Okay, you know what? That, that works. Works for me. Good enough. <laughs> that's okay. You didn't know. You're right. You didn't know. Um, gonna, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna start new Babbage this time. New, confirm, we're going to new Babbage this time, chat. I'm still a rookie. I know you are. If they gave everything, well, and. Well, no, 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 no. If they gave everything, it's just for a free fly, right? Just for the free fly event. Um, and it varies depending on the free fly. Like when we do the, um, um, the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. Well, that's that's always going to be a little bit different. You're get, you're going to get a completely different experience um, because you're coming in when they're showcasing the ships that are available in the game on a showroom floor, like an expo, like going to a car show, right? By the way, chat, there you go. If you aren't already part of the verse, there is there's my referral link. You want to get in? The free fly event is happening right now. This is the best time to check out. Yeah, see, exactly. You came in during the showcase, right? Oh, FPS is pretty solid right now. Uh, whoa! Hey, let me out of my room, you bastards. Alright, so... There's a couple of things I would like to touch on. Uh, first and foremost, I don't know who here has been paying attention to the information regarding 3.23. Uh, and all the changes that are going to be coming around, we're going to be getting updates to the UI. We're getting updates to our Moby Glass interface. We're getting updates to the map. We're going to be getting mini map. We're getting new cargo gameplay. Uh, we're going to be getting our own personal hangers. It's like the the next patch is going to be effing insane. Nah, uh, yeah, it could be a wipe. Um, and again, uh, there. With this being an alpha, there is always, and they state that, there is always going to be the risk of a wipe. Because of how widespread and sweeping the changes are coming in the next patch, a wipe is to be expected. I fully expect it. 
Oh yeah, no, 3.23 is, um, it, it's actually very pivotal. Um, in in the long term development of Star Citizen as as a uh, as an MMO title, and I'm all for it. I'm 100 for it. Like the the upcoming changes are just it's going to be good. Um, the nice thing is though is here's something. It's all well, and that's the thing. It's all the stuff, all the systems, and everything that have been designed for Squadron 42 that needed to be finished and finalized first. So that they could bring it over. Well, and that's exactly it. With the with the changes that are coming to Star Citizen um, in the next patch, which it looks like we're going to be getting uh, 3.23 in April. Uh, so my guess would be we're probably going to see PTU access uh, probably start of March. You know, first, second week of March. Now, here's the thing. the ru It's only rumored that there's a wipe, but we know definitively what is going to be in the 3.23 patch cycle, which is freaking dope. And I'm all about it. Uh, that's not the information I was dealing with as of this morning. Because they want to have 3.23 out before, um, out before, um, Foundation Day. Or Foundation Week, which is May. They want it out before, uh, before May. So, the time that that would be, would be the, uh, by the end of April. So, again, I mean, it, it, it's conflicting reports, but at the end, I think we're probably going to see it um, before uh, before May. Because they've been, well, and see, the thing is, though, is I'm actually going by the, by the actual Eva Cotty patch notes. It's not speculation. I'm going by information directly from... Um, CIG from Cloud Imperium, from the guy, from the people who are currently working on the network on the network stuff. So the stuff I'm dealing with is not speculation. It's already definitive. It's already definitive. It is. It is carved in stone. There is no exact date in April. Just that we're looking by the end of April is when we're going to be getting 3.23. Um, so here's the thing. So 3.23 is already currently in Evocati testing. Uh, Evocati is a very small closed group testing group. Um, any of the members of the Evocati testing team cannot post anything outside of what is already in the patch notes. So um, everybody else can speculate. Um, there is certain things that they can confirm based on, you know, there are certain things that they can confirm based on what is available in the patch notes for the Evocati team. So that's that's what I'm working with. I'm working with the Evocati testing notes. Um, just not giving out any information that is not already currently available. Welcome to the because oh, you guys know why. All right, so we've got my arrow. We have my Pisces. We've got the wrap. We've got the Corsair. I have... But I don't have it. Oh, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. So we got my fighter. We got my Pisces. We got the raft. We got the vulture. All right. Something else we need to do. Check. We got to back away from that for a second. Okay. Let's do this. Let's check my inventory. Okay, well, we're doing all right here. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. What do we got for armors? What do we got for armors? Let's uh, sew some, some armors on. 
true diff max core yeah i'm not really a max core kind of guy my, not, now mind you the adp stuff is some pretty good shit that true death the black gray red looks nice so what, what what is that i mean i ain't against it i would like my construction stuff though oh those lynx legs look terrible god god those are hideous hideous oh here we go here we go uh excuse me there we go eh, we're gonna throw a little bit of the old construction that's right that's right there we go there's the gray cat stuff we got it uh the only other thing that we're gonna hmm Something that we're definitely going to have. There we go. Uh, put some work in. Okay. Looking pretty good. Looking snazzy. Wait. Um, that's very unusual. Okay. Well, we'll throw that on there. Okay. Well, that normally, that doesn't carry over. Okay, we'll throw that there and make sure that we've got a tractor beam attachment to it. Perfect, look at that. Uh, can we get, there we go. Yeah, we'll make sure we got that in there. Are you yet loaded? Okay. Okay, yes. Yes, indeedly do. Big old tractor beam there. All right, uh, let's check weapons. Wait, hold on. Do we have anything for sustenance? No. All right. That, you know what? That's fine. What about other? Did all my stuff come back to me? Hey, all my stuff came back. Look at this. I'm looking forward to the new freight elevators. That is actually something that I'm super stoked for in uh, 323 is the freight elevators. That is just going to change the game so freaking much. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna throw you on there. Is that a that's suppressor two? Okay, we're gonna do that. Uh let's throw a suppressor on that. There we go. Okay. Uh we're gonna throw that on there. Right? Oh, okay. Alright. We're, we're we're good so far. Doing good so far. Uh, we're not doing, yeah, the, the, no, the tracer, no, 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 um, let's go, so, yeah, they're, the, the changes that are coming are pretty impressive overall, all right, so we don't have any food, but that's fine, that, that is perfectly fine, it's not a problem we don't have food, it's not a problem we don't have any food, uh, I think I'm gonna try. We're gonna we're gonna do a quick little uh, hauling job here. So we're gonna do a little bit of space trucking first, because you know space trucking. Hangar six. All right, let's go to hangar six. Uh, no, I said hangar six. The one, the, the, believe it or not, the, the two parts of the update that I am most excited for is the map changes, like the, the, you hit F2, right? And, or you go into Skyline, right? I am excited for this to be changed. Like, you guys have no idea how, how freaking happy that makes me. That, that is getting changed. Because, Jesus, our current map is unbelievably janky. And we've been dealing with it like that for a lot of years. Um, so the UI changes, especially for the map, are going to be very welcome. But it's, it's being able to, like, drop this down, right? 
But come over, like, to come over here, depending on where you are, and utilize these freight elevator areas, right? So you'll be able to have, like, the your freight elevators come up with whatever you've got loaded, right? You'll be able to use stuff like these freaking... Uh, we're gonna have um, effectively like hover, like anti grav forklifts. Right? So you'll be able to like bring your equipment up for your ship. You'll be able to, anything that you order, you're gonna have to manually load your ships. That's the other thing too. So I think that's something else that a lot of people aren't, aren't really. Um, it's going to, you're going to have to manually load your ship. So there will be no more of this where, you know, you, you go to a kiosk, a trade kiosk, um, you scroll through and say, okay, well, this is what I want to haul, and then the ship just automatically gets loaded. No, 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 no. You go to the trade kiosk. You decide what you're going to haul with whatever ship. You are then going to have to have have the ship sitting in the hangar. You are going to have to then bring that cargo in using the, the freight elevator. And then you're going to have to manually load your ship. And I am all about that. Because this is supposed to be a space life simulator. Well... I mean, it's definitely going to give us that. Systems activated. Okay. Systems on. You are clear to launch. Okay. It's been it's been a minute. Oh, shields are coming up. As we nice and gently ease this best bad boy out of the uh, out of the garage. The other nice thing about uh, using the freight elevator is we're going to finally be able to load ground vehicles from our uh, from the hangar that we're launching from, which is going to be really nice too. Because right now we kind of have to do this weird janky thing where we have to go to a moon or we have to have a port that has um, the ability to go outside and have a ground vehicle spawned in on a pad, like an, an exterior pad. Trying to find a nice balance for the music, by the way. I think that's about it. There we go. Okay. I'm like, no target! So, the whole object here is just sort of get reacquainted with everything. Um, you know what? Let's do this. I want to see how we're doing here. Frames are a little, a little rough, but it's not too bad. Um, the other thing, too, is, is we now actually have this sort of server recovery Thing that comes in so instead of getting tagged with a 30k there'll be a momentary lapse or lag in the game as it, the server goes into a recovery mode really quick and then so you don't lose your stuff you don't lose your ship you don't get bopped out so 30ks are going to become a lot less frequent which is really nice kind of looking forward to that one Right, so let's get 
Okay, so we're on Microtech. Um... So, let's go to the Riari Caltag. Really? You're, you're, ah, I'm like, yo. Okay. I got a little upset there for a second. I was like, uh, this could be problematic. Weapon systems while in armistice. Wait, what? How am I still in an armistice zone? Pardon me, sir? I'm basic, basically ballistic at this point. Good lord, man. I should already be clear to the, uh, the armistice zone, but... So, uh, something else that, uh, Star Citizen, or that, uh, Cloud Imperium Games is actually gonna be working on is, uh, the aspect of griefing. So, one, one thing that we're, because of the... I've gotta write... Oh, I've gotta remount the, the guns on this, that's fine. Not a big deal. Uh, I've got to redo all the equipment on this. The music is at below 50%. The music is below 50%. So it could possibly, like, I'm just saying, I keep the music below 50%. So if the music is a little in my game volume, my game volume, I will never push beyond 80. Just because uh, you guys don't need to be deafened by the game. Beautiful thing about physicalized uh, hardware, I can see everything that's going on on the mixer. This is why I'll never use a software solution for, for audio ever. <laughs> I'm, I, I'll be honest, using a physicalized mixer and a proper soundboard, while it might be a slightly pricier prospect, it is far better overall because I can see where everything, I can see each individual slider, everything has its own audio channel, you know, it just makes it so much easier from a control aspect. Uh, so where is my... There it is. Alright, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hit, hit Ryari Kaltag. Uh, we're gonna pick up some barrel, I think. The other thing is, too, is the one thing I've actually found is there are a lot of games, and not even just necessarily games, there's just a lot of applications out there that do a terrible ba job of audio balancing. They don't balance audio properly. Everybody's got a different way. They, there should be, and I'll be honest with you, there is technically an industry standard for audio balancing, but nobody sticks to it. Even in the music industry, nobody sticks to it. It's like, why is there an industry standard created if you fuckers don't use it? Like, what, 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 why, why did you go through the process of creating an industry standard for balancing and you don't fucking use it? It makes no sense. Isn't that generally why you create an, like, a standard? That way everybody's like, hey, this is this is the this is the bar. This is where we follow. This is this is where we need to be. Right? Generally? I might not necessarily agree with it, but but that's as far as my experience goes, is why you set industry standards. This is the bar. 
right? You can only go above the bar. You can't drop below the bar. But nobody seems to stick to that. Like, everybody does it weird and different. It's just like, I don't know. I, I don't know how to really explain it overall. Okay, well, so the object here is, again, we're coming in a little hot, but it's not too bad. At least I don't think so. Hmm. I love me my industrial ships. I'll be honest, I love me my industrial ships. All right, so we're gonna do a, a quick little cash grab here. Crusader C1 Spirit, huh? Yeah, that's not bad. All right, so we're gonna hop down down here. We're gonna grab grab some cargo. I'm hoping that the, I'm pretty sure it's barrel, uh, and then from here we'll see what we can do about where we're taking the barrel. This weather is kind of craptacular, though, isn't it? Look at this shit. Yeesh. There we go. All right, let's get that. There we go. Head tracking's going now. That's better. Much better. Please tell me you're not on the patch, jerk. No, they're floating above the pad? I mean, okay, I guess. Oh no, they're beside the other, they're beside the little guy there. So, something about griefers is if you're in the armistice zone, uh, they can't shoot you. Here's the issue. Um, that's been happening recently is for griefers. So a pirate is not going to ram their ship into your ship to destroy both ships because there's no profit in that. You know what I mean? And piracy is part of the gameplay. That is that is something that, you know, it is definitely a gameplay loop in, in Star Citizen. But griefers will, you know, slam their ship into your ship just for the lulls of it, right? They don't care. Um, so hopefully what we're looking at too with three, uh, 323 is they're going to be doing something with regards to grief, uh, like people who are griefers and trying to like ram, like pat, what they refer to as pad ramming. Um, just to prevent the pad ramming. Because frankly, if you're sitting here and you just say you've you've loaded up a uh, like a C2 or Hercules, right? And you've got like a few million credits worth of cargo on your ship. How many how many of you would be really happy if some dongle head just swooped in and just smacked their ship into yours just for a laugh. Just for giggles. I'm pretty sure not, not many of you would be very pleased about that. I know I sure in the fuck wouldn't be. Be very upset about that shit. It is minus 100 degrees Celsius on this planet, by the way. Good Lord, that is cold. Hey, 
Sweet Jesus. Minus 100 degrees Celsius. Must be in Alaska. <laughs> Folks, if you're just joining us, welcome. Happy Friday to you. This is the Arcade. I'm Scott. We're in Star Citizen. We're doing a little bit of space trucking right now. And uh, space trucking's not your thing. I don't know what to tell you then. I, I, I truly don't know what to tell you. How the f What the? Chat, does this make sense to you? Did that make any sense to you? It sure in the hell didn't make any sense to me. We just pulled this ship out of storage, okay? It only let me get not, I have 96. For cargo space. This thing only let me grab 40. What in the actual shit of Maru is going on here? Somebody please explain this to me cuz I I I'm, I'm very confused right now. I don't understand what's happening. I should have been able to grab way more cargo than that considering there's like a metric buttload of freaking barrel here. I think what we may have to do and hear me out. So we're gonna run to Art Corp because I know that Art Corp is one of the places where I can get the better price on sale of the barrel. So we're gonna go to Art Corp. I love this ship. I, I don't, it, there's just something about this. It's just, ooh, so good. I, I'm a big fan of industrial looking ships. So what we're gonna do here, uh, we're gonna head to Art Corp. We're gonna go to Area 18. And then after we're done at Area 18, we drop off here. We're gonna head back for New Babbage. Okay. All right, here we go. So we're gonna we're gonna head to Art Corp. We're heading to Area 18. We're gonna drop off this load of barrel. For whatever reason, the ship is just being kind of hinky. That's fine because we'll drop this off. We'll jump back to air, uh, back to new, uh, new cabbage. 
That's right. New Babbage is called New Cabbage, okay? Get used to it. We're gonna head back to New Cabbage. Uh, after we get back there, we're gonna throw this ship back in. We're gonna pull the uh, Drake Corsair out. Uh, speaking of which, how much cash do I currently? 600. Oh, that's why. I didn't have enough. Mmm, I forgot about that. <laughs> Whoopsie. All right. I didn't have enough. I didn't have enough credits on me to fill the cargo hold. That is on me. I totally forgot about that. Right. Um, so here's what we're going to do. While we're in quantum. I'm going to get up. I'm going to go use the bathroom. Okay. So all of you just hang out here. Chill for a few moments. I'm going to grab a short break. I'll be back in a few minutes. Get up, grab yourself a snack. I'll meet you back here in a few.
with my Zen thing, man. I did what you said for six months. Please let me see my family. Beg one.
Hi, chat. Tabletop Android. Thank you so much for the six month resub. I did what you said for six months. Please let me see my family. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, Tabletop. I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. None whatsoever, sir. What family? What makes you think I, I know your family? What, what, what? What makes you think that I know your family or, or the location of them? Hi. How is everyone? It is freaking warm in here. Ooh, it is currently, I'm, I'm, ooh. You know, I'm gonna be honest. It is sunny and it is 13 degrees Celsius right now. And it is really hard to be sitting inside. It's going up to 16 today. I live in Canada. It's normally, we normally this time of year, there's like four feet of goddamn snow. We ain't got snow. The grass is green. <clears throat> I don't know what happened to winter. Winter, winter quit. That's all I can say. We're all, you know, that was actually a decent break. We're almost there. Hi guys, how is everyone? All right. Of course I don't what, wink wink, huh? Of course I don't know what. Know what? So we've got a load that we're heading to Art Corp with, or Area 18 specifically. Um, something I forgot to do after we uh, got back into Star Citizen today was reapply all of the upgrades for my ship. It's Friday and I'm struggling to work. I'm doing stuff for my other after hours project. So much more fun. Isn't that generally how it goes though? You end up doing all your after hours stuff that you shouldn't, that you should be waiting until after hours to do. But you're like, eh, you know, fuck it. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it now. See, I'll be honest, the only thing that, like, it, for instance, if I wasn't streaming right now, what I probably would already be doing is I'd have three videos rendering through uh, through the Q and DaVinci Resolve to upload to um, YouTube over the weekend, but. Because I, there wasn't an upload for today. And that's fine because you don't have, you shouldn't have to upload. If you feel like you need to upload every single day, that's a problem. You know what I mean? There's, there's the spaceport. Hello, Area 18, I'm in you. That's a mole. Reclaimer. Great Corsair. Consul oh, Connie. Nice. Huh. All right. Fair enough. I heard there was a reset to Star Citizen. How, uh, did that happen? Was it a rumor? No, there's no reset. You still have your ships, you still have your gear, you still have your money. The only thing it does is it resets your character. So you just have to pick, uh, you know, your starting point again. But other than that, your money, your ships and everything stays in. It wasn't a wipe. There's, there's a massive difference. A lot of people always seem to get real paranoid, but I'm going to be honest. The thing is, though, is anybody who plays Star Citizen for any length of time, we all know that with this being an alpha, that there is the potential for wipes. 
those wipes do not remove anything that you have paid for. So if you've paid real world money for your ship package, you will retain that ship package. You don't lose that. I think that's the number one fear for a lot of people. A lot of people just automatically think that they're gonna lose everything. And it's like, no, 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 no. A wipe means that your cash is reset, that any in-game ships that you've bought is reset, things like that. But it doesn't actually mean that you're going to lose everything. But sometimes a wipe is required in order for um, Cloud Imperium games to actually Oh my, what is happening here? Uh, sometimes there are major, like, major changes, uh, patch-wise that require them to wipe things. Eventually, we'll get to a point where that's not required, but we're not at that point yet. That's right, Alpha, we all know what we signed up for. That's right, Tabletop. It's not a finished product. Though a lot of people seem to squawk like they're like, I'm not getting my money anywhere. They, they, you know, they act like it's a, it should be a finished product. It's like, did you, did you not, did you not look at the information before you threw down your $45? And I'll be honest, if I was looking at an hourly rate, I've gotten way more than my value out of this for 45 bucks. Way more. Like a few hundred hours of freaking game time in a persistent universe, the occasional wipe doesn't really bother me that much. It's like, eh, okay. No, you, you're coming out with massive overhauls to gameplay mechanics and game loops, and it's like, okay. Like the upcoming uh, patch 3.23, which we're probably gonna see somewhere. The, the speculation's kind of wild. It's funny because there are people who are like, yeah, so uh, we're probably not going to see it until, uh, like, the end of June. Meanwhile, I'm sitting over here with a bunch of patch notes from Evocati Testing showing that it's going to be, they're pushing for uh, end of April. And I'm like, you know... The devs are pushing for end of April. For 323, and the changes for 323 are wide sweeping. We've got an overhauled map. We've gonna, we're gonna have a, a first person mini map. You know, that that FPS map is gonna like the little mini map up in the top corner. We're getting a Moby Glass overhaul. So um, if we if we come in here, right, and we we hit skyline, this entire map is going to change. We're gonna be able to search locations. So we're going to be able to be here in Area 18 and say we want to go to New Babbage. We're going to be able to type that in. We're going to be able to type in New Babbage, and it'll give us the option to just plot a route just by doing a search. We're not going to have to, like, do this weird janky scroll in, scroll out, like, things don't quite work kind of thing, and it's, like, all over the place. Um, physical, like, we're going to be able to... So, for instance... You see how we've got a freight elevator over here, and right now it's just got a bunch of useless shit in the way? We've got fuel services over here. Um, you know, heavy cargo, freight elevator. We're going to be able to use the freight elevator, right? Meta moves! Ayatollah, wait, what? There's an Ayatollah. I thought that that was against his religious beliefs. <laughs> I mean, someone had the Ayatollah wants to be your... I'm about to say, what if, what if it was the Ayatollah of Rock and Rolla? Hi, Slider. How are you doing? Koromoa, mon amour. Oh, oh, God damn it! I wasn't paying attention. Shit. Uh, we're gonna go to Riker Memorial Spaceport. What, what if maybe it was somebody who was just going by the Ayatollah of Rock and Rolla? Hmm? What if? What if? And then they just went and ruined it for someone. Hmm? Why would Meta do that? Why has Meta got to crush somebody's fun? Hi, 
How you doing, Slider? This temperature keeps going up. Oh, what? What just happened? I love the new server recovery. We don't get 30 Ks. <laughs> That's right, we don't get 30 Ks anymore, chat. No more 30 K. No, no. We're not getting the 30 Ks anymore. That meant. So many places to do masking. Not when you got a bunch of dickheads running around acting like a fool. What you talking? You know how hard it. You know how hard it is to actually get freaking like just a, re, a a loop that you can record without a bunch of stupid shit happening. It's very difficult. It's incredibly complicated, and it's not much fun. It's it's not really that much fun. Wow, server FPS is shh. What is okay? You know what? I think maybe after we do this, we're gonna sell this load of stuff off. Sharp eye, patience, pattern recognition. Yes, all of it. Problem is, is I also don't want to be spending four hours standing in one spot in a game to be able to get that thirty seconds that I can freaking then turn into a loop. Ain't nobody got that kind of fucking time. <laughs> Other shit I could be doing with four hours of my time. I'd rather be playing the game for four hours rather than just standing in a space to get loops. <laughs> I'll leave that to somebody else. I'll leave somebody. I'll let somebody else grab the loops and I'll just, you know, I'll just go to YouTube and get it. That one minute loop. I'm okay with that. I should have known better than to come to our Corp, but we've got Barrel on the ship, so I mean, don't really have much of a choice. So what is Two Slider up to today? Hmm? Hmm? What is Slider up to today? Maybe, maybe, uh, throwing you out in the woodshed? Hmm? Hmm? Give you a little bit of the old dad face? I don't know, maybe, maybe... Oh no, I wanna no 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 I'm I'm I'ma throw you out into the we're throwing you out into the woodshed. Don't abuse me. Oh I'm abusing you. That's all. That's all there is to it. I am a I'ma abuse you. I I'm a I'm a 100 percent do it. Maybe we can just sit there and sip the tea. Right? I'm gonna throw down some fish. Okay. Sir. <laughs> I love that you called that a test. Damn flat. But the thing is, I don't see any flappies. That's not animated, is it? Don't you call me a flappy head Canadian. Yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> He's like, no. Listen. Really? Hey, phrasing! Wow, that was... Freaking lag time. Hard to animate real pics. How about flapjack bacon? Negative. Oh, hell no. Negative. <laughs> I use, use my account for testing for everything, then delete. Okay, uh, so we spent 88k on that. I mean, let's go. That wasn't so bad. Now, we haven't put the upgrades into this, so I don't have the upgraded jump drives or anything. I have the components, uh, but... The ship itself, I forgot that it was like, oh yeah, it, uh, I had to reset my home location um, because we had the patch to 3.22.0a uh, for Coromore and Red Festival and the free fly this week. Oi, oi, oi. And by the way, chat, 
if there are some of you who are currently hanging out and you're not already a member of the verse, I'm going to throw this down. That's my referral link. You can use that to create your account. And right now we are currently doing a free flying star citizen until the 15th of February. So it's one week. You've got one week. If you don't already play Star Citizen, this is your time to check it out for free. Doesn't cost you anything. You can get into it for free. Hmm, what about a neon sun? Find a static building, then float a sign over it? I mean, you could probably do that. You could probably do that. What if I already play? Can I get some credit? You don't get extra credit. You don't get so, sorry. That's that's not how this works. No, that's that that is unfortunately not how this works. Nope. Negative. There is no extra credit in life. Android, if you already play, you already play. There's nothing we can do about it. Kind of on your own. Sorry, my man. Just say he's like just saying. <laughs> he's like just give me a little extra credit. That's right, just that's right. Just like in life. I, I mean if you think about it though, it comes down to this this is a space life simulator, right? So <laughs> it's a space life simulator chat. I think what I'm going to do though is yeah, we're We might do a server hop though. If you already play, the cash you get from them is nothing. No, it's true. The cash you get from them is nothing. Cause my God, the F the, 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 uh, so the server FPS is technically the tick rate. The tick rate on this is fucking terrible. Terrible. It's a bit BS. If you ask me, it needs a bigger, it does need a bigger care. 5,000 credits doesn't amount to diddly squat in this. Like an additional 5,000 credits over what you normally get for your starter account is you can you can buy better a slightly better armor and an extra gun. And I, here's the thing, I don't make a whole lot. I don't get anything unless like for instance, I have to have um I have to have 5 people to get my first sort of reward thing. After that, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's just like, holy shnikes, man. But yeah, so, and it's not, it's not even in-game cash though. Like for instance, I got a, I got one of the, um, the Grey Cat Welcome PTVs. To the ASOP vehicle retreat. But that was after five people used my link. Select your or no. Has been delivered to the following Sorry. Location. Ten people used my link. Right? I finally got the Grey Cat PTV. No. I got two Bulldog 117s for three people using my link, and I got the Grey Cat PTV after five people used my link. I don't get anything until after... I get up to um, 10 people using my link. And the next thing I get is um, I get a Gladius. So I get a, I, I at least get a fairly decent ship for that one. Oh, hangar one. All right. Which isn't so bad, right? But then the next jump up from there is 25. Help someone, you, you, uh, your restart cash is X higher. I mean, it would like, and that's the thing. You'd, you'd think that that's what it would be, but no. Now, that being said, I'll, I'm, I'll gladly take a couple of like ship skins and a couple extra ships and stuff like that. Like, I don't mind that at all. But I do feel like the carrot should be better, and they need to actually do something about the, um, 
I think the uh, that's something that they do need to work on. From a community standpoint. If you have a referral link, it should you should make it worth you should make it worthwhile for the person using the referral link to create their account. But you should also make it worthwhile for the um, for the person who's actually. Hey, listen, I'll wear special skin. I ain't ashamed of it. <laughs> I'll wear your special skin. Alright, so we're gonna head back to New Cabbage. Uh, that's where actually where I set myself as my home point this time around. New Cabbage, chat. New Cabbage. So you know what, let's... Grimace Paint on next gen doing, going 10x better, better than Supra, really? Wider lines? That Grimace skin looked really good though, the pictures that you sent me? Looked really good. So as you can see, uh, I can't do anything with my weapons because, you know. Because frankly, uh, I forgot that the, uh, the equipment that you put on your ships uh, gets reset <laughs> when, when they do a patch. Uh, not all, not all the time, but sometimes. Hey, there we go. There we go. You know what? I don't care that I just wasted a whole bunch of freaking chaff and flare. Don't even care. Sunday plans, 1130 Daytona, 500, 330 49ers. Oh, 330 49ers. I mean, listen. Um, I know, I know Super Bowl is uh, definitely going to be a thing on Sunday. Okay, we're going, like I said, uh, actually, you know what? No, 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 no. Hold on. We're not going to go to New Cabbage. Hold on. We're going to do this first. We're going to go to Walla. Uh, we're going to go to... Let's go to... Mining Area 45. The reason we're going to go to Mining Area 45, chat... Just saying, it's bound to happen. I'm planning to disrupt the country by streaming during the Super Bowl. They'll all stop watching it and come to my. I mean, it, you can hope. You can. I mean, listen, that's some wishful thinking. Even I, I even I wouldn't like attempt that one. I'd be like, eh, you know, listen, this 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 might be dangerous for my health. Good luck with that. Good luck with your plan, uh, Android. The streaming, listen, the streaming might work, but I don't think anything else is gonna work for you. Oh shit. So, I don't understand. Why this.
You wouldn't want to see another amateur flight sim instead of foosball? Uh, no, actually, I'd rather watch the football. The footballs. Do you want a list? A list of what? I'll be honest, I'd rather watch the foot footy balls. I'd I'd rather watch the foo the the foosballs. No offense. Simmers need to be mad talented or entertaining. I mean, there you go, see. This is why we're having such a problem, because I'm neither. <laughs> I own it, it's okay. I'm neither like mad talented or entertaining. And you know what? That's fine. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with, uh, you know, not being either or. I'm comfortable in this. My mom, I'm bald. My mommy tells me so. That's right. Yeah, exactly. Let, then let her subscribe. She follows, but not a tier one sub. My mom doesn't even use Facebook or social media. The only thing she uses the internet for is email. Literally it. Looking shit up on Google and email. That is the only thing she uses the internet for. What, my mom? You know what? I'm pressing X to doubt right now. <laughs> my mom would never follow me. She's not alive, so that really shows the follow up. Damn, that's dark. Scoob, yeah, that's a set. That's no, I know it's a, I listen. I understand it's a part of life. We're all shooting stars, spend as yet, yeah, spend time as such. That's also true. We have a limited amount of time on this planet, make every second you got count, and you got to do it for yourself. You can't do it, you, you, you don't make it count because of somebody else, you make it count because that's what you want to do for yourself. It sounds selfish, but it isn't, in fact, selfish. It is it is the opposite. It is actually very selfless. So I'm going to start lit. I mean, you don't have to live for me. I don't want anybody to live for me. Live for yourself. Have experiences. In the end, you're dead or you're alive with nobody left. Okay, so. Well, here's the thing though, is I'm still not gonna sleep with you, Tabletop. I have somebody in my life. I don't know, I don't know how to break it to you. I, I got some, yeah. I got some I got somebody in my life and you know she 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 follows the channel she streams with me on occasion she jumps in for games we game together she likes to see me naked I mean you know like <laughs> you know Where in the f Uh, we don't- Oh, there we go. I'm like, yo.
Yeah, full package. Yeah. Like she she actually uh so for those of you who are just joining us, um she actually Zaul uh joined us on stream yesterday. So if you were here, you actually got to see her on stream. We had her camera piped in, we were playing Valheim together. It was a good time. It was a good time. No, not Zool, Zaul, as in Z H A O U L. Why is everybody just automatic? Are oh, you a god? <laughs> no. The answer is no. Right, next time someone asks you if you're a god, the answer is yes. <laughs> Count of six, I mean, okay, fair, fair. Whoa. Well, we don't have anybody on scope, so I mean, there's that at least. So the one thing I am going to mention though is my cameras seem to be a little janky. All right, so the object here is to pick up a load before we head back to New Cabbage. Yes, New Babbage is now New Cabbage, and she was the hottest short-haired girl I've ever s I've seen when I was a kid. Kind of sticks with you. I mean, okay, I guess, I suppose. I can neither, you know, agree or deny. I'm not sure where or how to take that. I mean, there, there, that's. I like that. I'm not judging. I'm just unsure. Okay, hold on a second. I've got to restart the bot. The bot is being a little dumb for whatever reason. Just bear with me here for a quick second while I restart. While I restart Libation's bot, it's being stupid. And I'd rather not have dumb bot. I'd rather have bot that's functional and doing as it's in, uh, uh, and working as intended. So just give me a moment, bot, dumb bot, bot, bot. Hot bot. All right. Hopefully now it's gonna work properly. There we go. Okay. It's uh, let's get the hill off the end of the seat here, out of the hot seat. Crock pot? Not crock pot. What? Cro Where in the fuck did crock pot come from? What the f? Crock pot? Whoa, whoa, whoa! How did I? Um. Oh. Okay, that's a problem. I got yeeted out of my ship. I mean, I know the the weather can be a little craptacular on some of these plant on some of these moons, but good God, man! Yeeted out of the ship, Psh, crock pot to yourself an insta pot and love life. I mean. I don't have, we don't have an Instapot here, but I still love life. Uh, excuse me? What, what is this?
Hold on, please, please hold. One moment, please. One moment, please. Um. Yeah, well, no, uh, I think I'll avoid that. Thank you. That's that's illegal stuff. We're we're not no. Nope. 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 Not playing with it. False, the Instapot people told me. Well, if you believe the Instapot people, that 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 is that is 100% a you problem. I don't know what to tell you. That that is def definitively a you issue. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we're not touching that. Nope. Nope. You you know how dad feels about illegal stuff. I legitimately tr legitimately try my damnedest to not grab illegal items. I don't care how much money you can make from it. It is not worth it. It is not worth the headache. Well, we'll grab the we'll grab the food stuff though. Cranberry, green tea, and carob. Tahini and carrot. You know what? Let's go. Okay. That, that works for me. But why do I keep doing that? Sheesh. I keep hitting escape to back out because I'm used to escape key doing that in other games. Or tab key. Black mirror much? Listen. Ooh, Quicksilver. Sure, why not? Bloodline? Sure, we'll take that too. Take some yeah, we're gonna we're gonna grab you old drinky drinks. A little bit of the cruise. Mmm, that's good. Heart of the wood. Chat, heart of the woods. Revenant pod. Loons spiral fruit. Tambu? What that? Hydrating, hypometabolic, and immune boosting. The skin of the Patambu is thin and waxy and easily peeled away using its green leaf like growths. Inside is a crisp and watery, bright red flesh, which is filled with tiny white seeds that have a mild, nutty taste. I mean, seems a little sus. Uh, does it look like somebody just threw like soap on that and didn't, you know what? Uh, it ain't my problem. Watch episode one of Black Mirror when you get a chance. Black Mirror, uh, you know what? I didn't mind Black Mirror. Black Mirror was very unusual. Okay, so we're just grabbing a whole bunch of goodies here. We're grabbing all the stuff. All the things. There we go. Hard li Oh. Oh, Dad just found what he wanted. Look at that. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's throw the food. I'm gonna throw the bevy in here. Yeah. Uh, you know what? That's fine. I, I didn't want the dark anyway. Green tea and carob. Okay. There we go. Hey, all right, things are starting to roast chicken. Yeah, we're just gonna grab all the good stuff here. I've been using that joke set up for 25 years. Wait, what? I mean, I've seen a bunch, but I don't understand how my sex jokes are related. Oh. I can do a pork butt in 90 minutes. Also, the Instapot works well. Really? 
Really, chat? Really? You know, the fact that we're finding this weird sea green shit is just... What is sea green? Is sea green just like sea foam, just different? I feel like that's what it is. It's just sea foam, just different. Grab the flow. Spicy salmon, definitely not. Fourteen of those, and we got more roast chicken. God damn, they, these people really like their roast chicken granola bars, don't they? Set up a joke, then slam it into a new direction. Slam, we're, we're slamming things? We're slamming, are we? Oh, my. I think you should leave with Tim Robinson. As your... Timmy! Timmy, Timmy! All right, let's see if, uh, hopefully I don't get slammed onto my ass. Okay, no, we're good. Didn't get booted onto my ass. That was nice for a change. Minus 14 degrees C. I mean, that's not bad. It's not bad. All right, hopefully these guys got something for us, though. Hopefully. Oh. You know what? I'm not... I'm just looking for the actual, like, crate crates. Nope. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, nope. We've got more than enough food supply right now, so we don't need a whole bunch of extra goodies. We don't need the extra goodies. All right, so let's go. Oh, butts. Cycling, let's go. Come on. All right, we got anything good in here, or is it just all no? It's all right. Uh, hopefully, if I remember correctly, this should be Laranite. Argo Raft, Laranite. There we go. I can only grab 45 of this again. It's because uh, limited funds. So, we're going to take the Laranite. We're going to take this to New Cabbage. It's not a full load, unfortunately. It's only half what we're capable of hauling right now, but... That's why I didn't just come running out of there, by the way. I don't know if you guys happen to notice. After our uh, unceremonious removal from the ship, I was like, you know what? We're going to be ultra cautious here because I'm like, this could get real ugly. So we're going to take this Laranite to New Babbage. Excuse me, sir. Hi. Sheesh. Let me in my ship, please. Folks, if you're just joining us, welcome. I'm your host, Scott. This is the Arcade. Happy Friday. How are you? I hope you're well. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for hanging out. Come on. Oh, hold on. Hold, whoa, 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 whoa. Before Dad forgets. I forgot to move what I currently have in my local inventory here to the ship. I'm going to move all of that over to the ship. There we go. That's better. We have 64 Alpha UEC. 
64. So you know what that means. That means that if somebody comes along to be a douche nozzle, we are effectively fucked. Does not appear to be anything, but that doesn't mean diddly squat. So we're gonna book it as fast as we can. We're gonna spool the engine. Cause I don't want to be on the ground any longer than necessary, okay? Just in case. Like the pork, right? Am I right? I lost a friend of six years earlier. Sorry to hear that, stoner. Sometimes, uh, sometimes, unfortunately, that happens, right? I've had people that I've known long term that uh, I I didn't stop necessarily stop speaking to them, but they stopped speaking to me for you know for my beliefs or whatever. And you know I I'm always a firm believer in you and a friend or a family member can disagree and have differing points on a situation um, and still be friendly with each other. You don't have to agree to be friends with someone, right? He was whining about Hell Divers 2 and he cheat. I told him to stop being tired. To I told him to stop. Tired of people complaining about it, like yeah. I mean, no, I get that, right? Evangelical. Uh, what sounds like evangelical? Uh, evangelicalism. <laughs> so he was just. So wait, let me guess. Helldivers 2 is getting review bombed because the Colonel anti-cheat idiots are- Oh, okay. Well, yeah, but it's a game that requires anti-cheat. Oh, what, what did- what did these people think that- Colonel anti-cheat is there for a reason, because it works. You don't have to like it, but it's becoming an industry standard because of it works. Yeah, cheating ends games. It's true. Cheating, especially in something that is multiplayer. Like, I know people who don't like any cheat. Um, and, but again, like people that I, I know, and we can agree to disagree on it too, right? Like, eventually it's just cheaters and poor ignorant people who get in too late. Yeah, well, into it late. Yes, unfortunately. But no, I get it. I, I do understand that. I'm guessing because you disagreed, though, they decided, you know, that, oh, well, F you. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that's what happened. Decided because, uh, you know, if you're not with me, you're against me kind of mentality. I thought Face Punch said they banned like 50% of accounts for cheating. I, I legitimately don't see a problem with that. If you're banning accounts because of cheating, like, fucking go for it, right? Like... See, the thing, the thing is, though, is... Cheating? Oh, it's good. It's the skit. Yeah. But here's the thing. So, cheating, as far as I'm concerned, is an ego play. And if you want... If, if, you, if you get upset because someone is cheating in a game that you, like, or upset because... Ain't, there's an anti-cheat system for the game that you like. It is. It is small PP stuff. I agree. You don't have to, like, and here's the thing. You don't necessarily have to like the method of anti-cheat, but anti-cheat needs to exist. I'd love to see the average cheater demographic. You know who it'll be. You mean the 16 to 30 year olds? Like, well, my time's valuable. I, you know, I don't have time to be, well, then don't play the game. Simple. If you don't have time to play the game properly, then don't play. Any cheat exists in almost, almost any MP game, right? Packet protection and DDoS ain't, aren't, aren't a nothing. Th well, they, they can't be, right? Even the engine may handle that. Client side versus server side syncs, yep.
Yeah, so Helldivers 2 is getting review bombed because of Colonel Anichi. So, yeah, that, which is dumb. I think that's dumb. You're, you're review bombing a game because it has Anichi. That's why console games usually suck. It's all peer-to-peer -peer client side bullet calc. Some of it, it depends on the multiplayer game. Uh, the problem you run into with multiplayer is with cross-platform. Because on console, you can't cheat. But on PC, you sure as fuck can in a lot of titles, right? Boohoo, it's invasive. It not as invasive as Valorant's any cheat. Even still, though, like I told, like, who cares if it's invasive? What, do they want a game where you don't have to worry about cheaters? Or do they want a game where everybody can cheat all willy-nilly and stack the deck, right? Slider, my sentiment exactly. And, and Spice Stoner, I think you're probably on the same boat too. Like, you know, don't, yeah, don't play it then, right? Like, I, I think Spice Stoner, you're probably on the, uh, on the same page, right? Like, you don't like it, and don't play it, right? You don't, yeah, the classic won't, yeah. Whoa, <laughs> the groaning, the groaning. And bear pig, whoa. <laughs> Wow! I need to start just re recording my own clips, right? Over demanding pushy gamers who think their 50 bucks is a lifetime uh, pass to being shitty. Sometimes. The boohoo, it's invasive though. I don't know what to say about that. Like. It, it comes down to, do you want to play the game and enjoy it and not have to worry about cheaters being douchebags? Or do you want to play the game and have a bunch of cheaters ruining the experience? If it doesn't get me, uh, get, yeah, if it doesn't, if it doesn't get me steam banned, then what is it? I don't know. Then it is what it is. Oh, well, yeah. I've only ever been accused of cheating once, um, and that was uh, at the launch of Destiny 2, uh, and their, their infallible automated anti-cheat system, which was anything but infallible, detected OBS because I was streaming it on launch. My account got banned. My freaking Bungie account got banned. Now I got the ban overturned. Right, but I went in with log files. I showed exactly what was running in the back end of my computer. But I'll tell you something, the fucking community turned on me. Shit got savage. It's like, well, another fucking cheater gun. I'm like, I wasn't even cheating you fucking dog knockers. Like I was streaming the game. And it, oh man. Uh, I could not believe how fast and this is the thing I've been a member of the destiny community for a while right before before destiny 2 because I played the original destiny on Xbox so uh, it, and all of a sudden you've got all of these people who are just like well you know get fucked cheater and I'm like but I provided Bungie like weeks like we I went back and forth with somebody at Bungie for weeks with log files, with proof showing this is what is running on my PC. I was streaming this. Here's the VOD. Like, here's everything. Your any cheat is not infallible. And, but they did finally fix it. But that being said, like, I don't have a problem. And that's the thing. I don't have a problem with any cheat. Eh, yeah, I wouldn't even... It was a it was a hassle, but I wouldn't sue him for damages. I know somebody out there probably would and probably tried. I wouldn't be that person, but I digress. <laughs> I love that. I'm so stuck. How how high are we talking here? On a on a scale of one to ten, ten being like the absolute highest you've ever been, and zero being like flat sober. Where are you on that scale right now, Spice Stoner? Yeah, arbitration in the terms of service. Oh. That slider looks like Pam Anderson from behind. Oh. Yo, slider, how does that make you feel? I think two slider feels uncomfortable now, Stoner. <laughs> you, you may have made two slider uncomfortable, Spice Stoner. Fucking four 
18 degrees outside. God damn it, it's so nice outside right now. It's beautiful. I don't know, I had some bacon ham, Anderson. Oh my. Yes, please. I'll do. <laughs> it's not Pam Anderson, it's ham, Anderson. Oh yeah. Oh, chat, I, 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 I'm going to be honest. I don't want to be inside right now. I fucking want to be outside. I want to be outside walking a trail right now. So I've been messing around with AMD's fluid motion frames. Pretty, uh, pretty neat. Has some quirks, but still awesome. Yeah, so um, the fluid motion frames is effectively their version of um, frame gen, right? Like NVIDIA's frame gen. Only again, free. <laughs> Okay, I gotta take this off because god damn my watch is actually digging into my wrist right now. I don't like that when stuff digs in, it's like NVIDIA's DLSS tech and partnerships is impossible for me to walk away from still. They can just dominate when they want to. No, FSR3 has frame gen. Fluid motion frame is driver level frame gen that can work with any DX DX11 or DX12. Oh, Oh, so the fluid motion frames is driver level frame gen that can work with any game. So even if the game does not have FSR. Interesting. But the, pro the, the downside is, though, is I'm guessing you would still have to have a, an AMD graphics card. Yeah, because it's driver level. Already releases drivers for every game, pretty much. Nah, well, yeah, 6,000 series or newer, which isn't bad. Gonna try to finish out the day strong. All right, Tabletop, cheers, man. Thanks for being here, and thanks for the six-month resub. Well, see, here's the thing, though. NVIDIA dr releases drivers for um, AAA titles. And 90% plus of, of games are not NVIDIA tuned. Not even close. I wish that were true, but that is not true. It's not great for fast motion games like FPS, but anything else. Yeah, I'm guessing for cinematic. For a cinematic style game. That would be fantastic, right? They do flagship items still. Here's the thing. I'm not going to lie. Um, my roommate and I both had considered moving over to AMD graphics cards, getting the like a 7900 XT or XTX. Um, and I would just take the 30, the 30 series card that I'm currently using in the gaming rig, throw it into the streaming rig for uh, for encoding. Because again, the 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 generational co encoder on it comparative to what's currently in the streaming PC way better, right? Is the improvement really worth it? Um, considering the price tag on the on the graphics card, yeah, and considering the new AMD GPUs have AV1 encoding, uh, over the 3080, uh, about a 20 percent. And considering I can get a 7900 XTX for under a thousand, right? With AV1 encoding, 24 uh, gigs of VRAM. I mean, I can't get a. Th Listen, the only way I'm getting a 40 series card. Uh, in that in that price range is if I go to a 4060 and that's not worth it not worth a 40 series well that's what I mean 4060 isn't even a 3 series exactly on AI GPUs now rather than consumer well that's yeah 4060 is a low power version of the 4070 yes more or less Sounds, that sounds fairly accurate.
All right, so we're almost at Microtech. Well, I like so here's the thing. I've I've been watching some of the stuff for Del, uh, Hell Divers. Um and the original, like, the first Helldivers game looked like it was fucking hilarious. Like, there was a, so much hilarity involved. And I was just like, man, this, this game looks like it's fun. You know what I mean? Um, like, the orbital bombardment, you end up accidentally, like, murdering your freaking squad. <laughs> like, nobody's getting butthurt about it either. They're just, it, it is, like, 100% legitimately just good fun. I had a bug hit me, all my limbs torso were effed over, but I was still alive for a few That's terrifying. It's like Starship Troopers, only funnier. <laughs> You're still alive for a few seconds to watch the bug finish you off. Yeah, because, uh, of course, of course it has controller support. You know why it has controller support? Because it's an arcade game. Yeah, Starship Trooper. Well, no, Helldiver's a little bit more. Yeah, Starship Troopers on steroids. Yeah, that, that, that seems a little more accurate. But yeah, it's... Folks. Thanks for being here. Y'all are cute. Play star is replace citizen stuff with everything for democracy and get close. PvP, if not, then I'm less concerned with cheating. Uh yeah, I don't know. It I don't think PvP. Democracy? Hey, listen, you <laughs> fucking hippies. You got a problem with democracy? You got a problem with democracy? You got a problem with voting in? Having elected officials? A problem with that? What are you, a fucking commie? <laughs> right, so we're gonna... Uh, here we go. Because premium currency is earnable in-game and there's an overall war effort campaign, every victory ties into cheating could ruin that. You know, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense, actually. All right, so we're going to New Cabbage. We're going to do a couple of things. So we're gonna get into New Babbage. Uh, we're gonna drop the ship down. We're gonna sell the goods that I currently have. And then we're going to hop out of Star Citizen. and we're gonna reset. I'm gonna do a server hop and then come back in. Hopefully we'll uh, get into... I know that the tick rate is gonna be freaking low right now. And that's because it's a free fly event, so... All cause there's a free fly event right now. You know what, at least we came in close to the frickin' spaceport this time, so that's nice. Hi, Zool, welcome back. Did you get outside? Did you get outside? You have napalm my allies a few times. What's a few love, right? What's a few love burns between friends? I did. It is a little breezy, but you know what? It's beautiful outside. It is now 14 degrees Celsius and sunny. You know what? I'm all right. A little breezy? Heck yes. Did you just get back from your walk? Oh, I was about to say. Uh, Drake Corsair, huh? Okay. 
What is that? That is a Crusader A1. So that's the bomber variant. Ah, just fine. Oh, very nice. Thank you. And please visit again. All right. My favorite was an allies turret shot me in the back, caused me to fall forward onto a landmine. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. I know I shouldn't laugh, but that really is kind of freaking comical. I'm sure Lilo enjoyed the walk too, Zool. So I gotta say this Wasabi hot sauce is likely West wildest burn I've had in a while Wait Wasabi hot sauce That's a thing God damn Wasabi ghost chili with a slash of soy sauce meant for sushi. Woo! Damn, that sounds that sounds downright spicy. So here's here's the real kick in the teeth right now, chat. I don't have the credits to refuel. <laughs> Uh, we have 64 alpha UEC right now. Doesn't hit sinus cavity, but you still feel... I mean, that's, that's the problem. I need stuff that hits the sinus cavity. And the reason why I need stuff that hits the sinus cavity is, uh, well, because I have a problem with sinusitis and I'd like to be able to clear the sinuses out. So I'm all right with that. The stuff that hits the sinuses, let's go. 100%, let's freaking go, man. But yeah, Zool, will actually want to be outside right now. I don't want to be inside. I don't want to be, I don't want to be sitting in front of, I don't want to be sitting in front of a camera with a microphone in my face. I want to be outside, into sunlight. In the sunshine. While there is still daylight. I don't want to be in front of the camera. I want to be outside. But I have to work because I've got bills to pay. Daddy's got to make his... Daddy's got to make money. I respect Helldiver 2 uh, devs launch was rocky. Yeah, I heard that the that the uh, matchmaking was a little broken, but they uh, pushed out a, a, a fix. To the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. And got things sort of sorted out and rectified. Yeah, no, I can't. I don't have the data package or a solid enough freaking data connection where we live to do that. Downside of where we live. Uh, I, I, there, there, there is, there is, there is no path to a solid, good mobile stream. It, it's just not. Don't have the data package and the Twitch app on for streaming purposes on mobile is ghastly and terrible. Is probably one of the most dysfunctional pieces of software I've seen in a very long time. Uh, the comments! We need the comments, chat. We need the comments. There we go. To the comments we go! 
Yeah, and the, like the thing is, it's one thing to say use what the, um to like do like a, a thirty second or one minute or two minute video or something, right? And then as soon as you get back uh, connected to uh, Wi-Fi on the home network, just you know upload it. But live streaming mobily from a mobile connection just. I would love to be able to do that, but considering considering it wouldn't take long for me to burn through 10 gigabytes of data because I don't have an unlimited data package. It would take it would not take me very long. And because uh, the uh, while we have 5G uh, it, the, the, the 5G connection, um, locally from the tower is fucking terrible. There are dropouts all the time. It's just absolute shit. So it's just not, it's not worth it. As much as I would like to do it, it's just not worth it. Ah, the comments. This is where I need to be. Thank you. Right, let's get our butts up here. We're gonna go sell some uh, some stuff. That's right, we're gonna sell our stuff, chat. Dad's gonna sell his stuff. We're gonna head to the plaza. Um, so folks, if you're not already, if you are not or have not checked out Star Citizen, now is actually the perfect time for you to do that. Uh, it is currently a free fly until February 15th so if you haven't checked it out and you want to I will drop my referral link right there this is the time this is the best time you get it until the 15th for free try it out there are five ships that you get to fly around in for free as part of the free fly event so again if you haven't already checked it out or you kind of only come in during a free fly event, this is the time you use that link, create your account, get in, check it out. See if it's for you. See if, you, see if you're gonna enjoy it. Okay, we're gonna check the raft. That's right, we got 45. All right, not bad. Making a little bit of money, okay. That's good, yes, yes, we now have some money. Now the real trick. Let's get in here. Uh, we're gonna go to loadout. Select the ship. Let's grab my raft. Wait for it to load. Okay, miscellaneous. Liveries. Nothing. Um, cooler core. There we go. Equipped. Equipped. Quantum drive. The XL1 equipped. Shield generator FR76s. <laughs> yes, please. Um, weapon slot two. I'll throw the old Vera puck in there. There we go. Okay. Weapon slot. Throw the Vera puck in there. Okay. So weapon mount. Um. Yeah, we'll throw that in there, and there we go. Okay, save, changes, and equip. So, now that this ship has been fully and properly updated. Done. Let's pop the helmet off for a quick moment. Grab me a wee little bit of the chug -a -lug. There we go. All right. Because we got to make sure we hydrate. Um, okay. Dad needs a garbage can. Twitch dad needs a garbage can. 
Uh, so let's head back. See, people are just dropping their garbage down. I at least try to find a garbage can. Hey, come on, man. Like, we got waste receptacles for a reason. Like, freaking toss it in there. Like, don't be leaving your shit all over the place, okay? Helmet? Oh, yeah. All right. Perfect. So we're back up to 128,000. I am such a pleb. I keep hitting escape. Uh, these guys seem to have whatever going on. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to exit out. And there's a reason for this. It's because the tick rate on, the, on uh, this cluster at 470 is kind of terrible. So we're going to exit out while we're in a main city. It's generally the best way to do it, right? Uh, and from here, we're going to start doing, we're going to do a little bit of a server hop. So let's just jump into the EU. And this is just to find a, a far better, um, like... It's it's called server FPS in in their back end, but it's actually uh, it's your tick rate Tick rate on that cluster was just on that shard was just terrible So we're gonna just swap it over and see if I can find something that's a little bit better As you can see the tick rate for this and this is EU So if it wasn't for the incredibly high ping the tick rate is off the fucking charts Which is good. That's what we want. We want the higher number Too bad that the ping is redonkulous. All right, so. All right, we're still in new cabbage though, so that's something. Hell of a view. Kimchi station, you leave, you listen. Really? Kimchi Station, he said. I said New Cabbage. <laughs> he goes to Kimchi Station. There you go. Mm, actually, you know what? I could go for his... I haven't had good kimchi in a freaking forever, man. Alright, so tick rate on this one is really good. But, this is EU. So, I love food. Ooh, I haven't had a good... Oh, uh, God... Okay, Zool, so we'll, maybe you know, is there any place locally we can get a good kimchi? I'm not making it myself. They sell it bag now and it's amazing, must be. Whole food? See, we don't have whole foods here, Slider. I, wait, I live in, I'm a, I'm a Canadian pleb, we don't have whole foods. Goodness me and Brantford? <gasps> oh, yes please. You understand? I do understand what it is. It, it's cabbage. Yes, I know. The con Yes, the concept of it. Yes, it's cabbage. I get it. It is effectively freaking sauerkraut. Don't get keep organics. Oh, it is very... No, kimchi is delicious. It is really good for the gut. It's effectively freaking sauerkraut. I know it's not sauerkraut, but... It's a similar concept to sauerkraut. Again, it's delicious and it's good for the gut. Well, kimchi is definitely, listen. You know what? Can we all agree? Kimchi is spicy sour. Yes, it's spicy sauerkraut. <laughs> kimchi is spicy sauerkraut. <laughs> I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna trigger somebody now. Somebody gonna be all like, they're gonna come in here. And he, did he just say what I think he said? Oh, hell no. All right, so we're on, we're in Australia. Wow, the tick rate on this is really good too. We're in Australia. Two, holy crap, that ping at 205? F all of that. We're not sticking around here. I like that. Spicy tower crowd. It's red. I mean, listen. Radish kimchi is great too. I've never had radish kimchi. 
Can we just talk about how beautiful this goddamn game can be? Oh, it's so pretty. All right, one last server hop. Here we go. Technically, it's not a server hop. It's shard hopping. We're shard hopping. Told you, new Babbage for life. New BBG. The old new cabbage. All right, here we go. Back to the US, please. Oh, zero, 040, zero. here we go. And better tick rate. I was forged in the fires at New Babbage. Listen. There's no fire in New Cabbage. No fire. Are you forced into PVP with others in Helldivers? That's a good question, I don't know. Or is it a nothing be urger if you trust people? Uh, so that's the thing. I have no idea. Uh, as far as I know, it's co-op, like co-op multiplayer, but I don't think it's got actual uh, PvP in it. The anti-cheat is to prevent people from uh, taking advantage of the, mon the in-game monetary system. Full of cheats with friends? I don't care. Well, no, they're they're so just mad about the so yeah, they're just legit mad about software. That's all it is. But there because there is an in-game currency um, and there is a campaign, they don't want people cheating it. Right? So I get that. Especially with the online factor. Because there is a there is a competitive side, but I don't think it's PvP competitive. Alright, yes, so the tick rating on this one is much better. Definitely sticking with this. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, it's just people being childish and immature about software. Have you read some of the, the reviews? I kind of feel like maybe we should just check out Steam and read some of the shitty reviews just for a laugh. Just to see how immature people are being about Helldivers 2. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pull out the uh, the Drake Corsair this time. I don't read reviews from people who can't. Well, <laughs> there there is that too. There is definitely that too. If you can't write, you're overlooking major points. <laughs> If you can't, it, here's the thing. If you can't write meth, um, methodical approach to a topic, <laughs> yeah. What methodical, what method? <laughs> there is no approach. If you can't write and coherently form sentences, then you shouldn't be reviewing anything. <laughs> I tell everyone, five paragraph essay. Uh, you don't necessarily have to have a five paragraph essay, but the, the people who just like put three lines as a review, it's like, that's not a review. Versus spazzing a headline, yeah, well there's that. Versus spazzing a headline, yeah, that one I can get behind. All right, so we've got a way better tick rate on this one. Holy crap, it is, and such a much lower ping. Yes, please. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Intro, tell them what you're going to prove. Three po three great points. Summary. Basic high school shit doesn't have to be long, just well informed. Yeah, well formed. Yes. It's funny you mention that because I can remember my oldest, she was doing, uh, she was doing, it was a, a project for biology class. And she had to write out, um, she had to write it out in an essay, f in an essay style format, right? And she didn't know how to do that. I actually had to tell her the same thing. The same thing. Do an intro, you know, tell, explain to your teacher what you're trying to prove. Provide your points. She she had five points and I said, you need to research those points get, and provide conclusive information. Cite, cite your information, right? Make outline, turn into three points, right? Yeah. Get into college without that skill, God help you, right? <laughs> and no shit. But she did it and she aced the fucking thing, man. Yeah. Cite 
Yeah, cite your research. Citation is a lost art, but cite, cite your research, right? Like, make sure that you have everything, right? Yep. May seem full of shit, but I can share where I read it. Yes, yes, exactly. Welcome to the cite your sources. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna grab the Corsair now. Actually, you know what? No. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Hey. Um, you know what? Let's do this. We're gonna grab the vulture. We're gonna grab the vulture. Oh, hold on. No, 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 no. Shit. Damn it. No, oh, put it away. Put it away. Put it away. Mistakes were made. Put it away. Store. Store it. There's a reason. Wikipedia isn't a source. It has sources. Yes. Right. Let's go here, loadout manager. Uh, select a ship. Let's go the vulture. We're gonna go United Earth mini flag. There we go. <laughs> yes, please. Livery. Um, I want the. I want my ice break. Systems. Um. Size one, grade three, size one, grade one. Uh, we're gonna do that. Power plant, JS 300s. Yes, please. Oh. From all of us at Microtech. Oh. To the new Babbage Interstellar Spaceport. Oh, no, I don't need, no, no, no. I don't need that. Never mind. Never mind. I don't need the JS 300 for that, right? Uh, Quantum, it is the, the Atlas. Yeah, it's the Atlas. I'll, ooh, yeah, no, the shields should be fine. Uh, vehicle weapon. N13, there we go, the NN13s, baby, let's go! Oh, I'll, wait, what? How do I only have... No, I, never mind, never mind, we'll just, no, we'll, we'll... We'll leave that then, utility. Uh, we're gonna leave all of that. It doesn't matter. Save changes and equip. Boom, done! If you can't do basic essay, you shouldn't be in college, much less write papers. I wrote a 25-page paper on the Marshall mission to China. That one paper was more than many of my engineering friends have ever written. That's kind of insane. Uh, why do I keep doing that? Right. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Ve your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. And that was the sixth paper just for just for that what? That was for your history class, yeah? Hangar three. Okay. Five thousand level history, yeah, there you go. Damn. It's over nine thousand! Folks, if you're just joining us, welcome. Happy Friday. Thanks for being here. We're, uh, as you can see, we're uh, going to be hopping into our vulture here. We're going to go and make us some money. We need quick cash. Because uh, dad's kind of broke right now. 4,000 equals top senior. Uh, senior top 5,000 is generally graduate work. Yeah. Right. Uh, so we're going to go and do a couple of... Or 100 or 500, same shit, yeah. Like class level 101 is the basics, right? And then you go up from there kind of thing. Okay. Uh, power. Right. Shield's critical, that's fine. We're good. Okay, landing gear's already up, and we're gonna make start inching our way out of the out of the hangar.
That's right, Shabs. How are you doing? Yeah, it's be salvage time. We're, uh... We're gonna make sure we go on, uh... Dad, Dad is broke, okay? I bought a Drake Corsair. <laughs> I, I love the ship. The problem is I want to upgrade it. The downside is I need it upgraded to the Church of Burt, and I can't do that without money. So we're gonna... We're gonna be out in the vulture for a little bit because I need the cash. So I can cheat, so I can completely revamp my Corsair into a freaking Space A10 and just decimate freaking hammerheads with it. The good classes were basically story time. I mean, come on, right? The sign of a good class is everybody wants to be in it because it is effectively story time. All right, um, you know what? Let's do this. Uh, personal, can we? Salvage, hammerhead, I see, I can't, I wanna do that, cause that is 250. You know how fast? Uh, but this, I will take it. Estimated time before security arrives, 30 minutes. Go to wet, uh, hurt, and this is a salvage job for Andromeda? Let's go, all right. You know what? That's fine, let's go. Uh, I would have rather, like this is a risky, we paid 10 grand for it, but you know what, that's fine. Uh, we need the, we, we need the goodies. So this is, There we go. Okay. We've got a route set. Yeah, the problem is you can't salvage hammerheads with a vulture. And that's that's down that's the downside, right? Like the hammerheads without it, unless you've got um unless you've got a reclaimer, you're just you you're not getting anywhere, right? Like and that that is kind of the downside. You need you need the reclaimer. Uh, of which I do not, yeah. Well, I wanted the Corsair, though. Because I can do a lot with a Corsair, right? You can multi-crew it. Uh, you can do a lot of cargo with it, but it's like a nice... It's a nice all-arounder kind of ship. You know what I mean? All right, so we threw the upgrades into this one. Oh, come on. Oh, I forgot how much drift the uh, Vulture has. All right, so we've got 20 minutes until security gets there. So all we're doing is we're doing a fracture. We're just doing a, a, a you know, a scoop and scoop. I've been star slacking, been living in Daisy. Uh, so I've got so the only reason that I'm currently into Star Citizen right now is purely because it is Koromor. Uh, we've got Red Festival going on right now as well, which is effectively Chinese New Year in Star Citizen. Koromor is the week long celebration leading up to um, Valentine's Day. And it's a free fly event. So it's you know what, like we'll get in and we'll spend a little bit of time in the verse over during the free fly event. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, though, are still going to be Valheim. I am not changing that. It's just for the time being, instead of playing in Shrouded, we're going to be doing Star Citizen for Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Okay? So, Tuesday, Thursday, still going to be Valheim. Because I got to play something that gives you guys the ability to fuck with my day. <laughs> now... If anybody wants to help out, by the way, and, and again, don't, this isn't a requirement, but if you want to help out, if you drop a, uh, a 20 gift sub bomb or a hundred dollar tip, we will skip, or we, we end up with 20 gifted subs within one single stream. I'm going to reword that or a hundred dollars in tips in a single stream. Then we will schedule an arcade after dark stream. So that will be an extra stream. We'll have some alcoholic bevies. We'll play a totally different game. You know, 
we'll let our hair down and get get we'll get nasty. We'll, it, no kids allowed. It's just a pure adult time, okay? 100% pure adult time. Uh, beautiful thing about upgrading this ship is we are making good time right now. Ooh. You know what? While we're on our way here, let's kick that out. I'm going to I'm gonna change that. Um, do 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 do. Ooh. Ugh. There we go. Yeah, let's... Okay. There we go. Boom, done. That should now be reworded. Uh, which also... Oh. We're only at 75%. Oh, man. That's not that bad. So, that should now be reworded. There we go. For every 20 gifted subs or 100 in tips during a single stream, we'll schedule an arcade after dark stream. There you go. Boom. Now it, now that looks correct. So we've got 24 and a half minutes left before security gets there. So we've got a, again, this is just going to be, we're going to fracture the, we're going to fracture the ship. Uh, we're just, it's going to be a quick scoop and scoop. Quick scoop and scoop. That's all we're doing. Good old fashioned scoop and scoop. How's everyone's Friday going? Shabs, how's your Friday going for you so far? How about you, Zool? How's your Friday? How, how, how is it? Slider, how's your Friday? There we go. So that, that, that reads better. For every 20 gifted subs or $100 in, 100 in tips, uh, during a single stream, we'll schedule an Arcade After Dark stream. And the Arcade After Dark is a bonus stream on top of my regular schedule. So that just means you get to spend more time with this pretty face, only with alcoholic beverages. It's okay, we'll be better at five. What, you mean when you go to the dog park? <laughs> I know that's where Rumi is right now. I saw him leave like 10 minutes ago to take, take Saphir to the dog park. I should have asked him to figure out what he wanted for dinner <clears throat> when he got when he got in the door from work because here's the thing so my roommate gets done at noon on Fridays every Friday noon that's it and I should have asked him what he wanted what he wanted to do for dinner if he said I don't know I'm like well you got all afternoon to think about it <laughs> figure it out But I forgot, and now that he's not currently here, I can't very well ask him. Otherwise, I would go out on, I would grab a quick break and just go ask him, but I'm not. I'm not going to do that. All right, so let's get out here and get the salvage job done. No, no, I'm not going to worry about it. It's not that important in the grand scheme of life. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, I could easily message him too, but I'm like, eh, eh, eh. Ain't that important. All right, here we go. Ooh. 
I should not be yawning. I'm sorry, chat. I'm so very sorry about that. I should not be yawning, and yet here we are. Here we are. Listen, Canadian gamer, you're married. Hands off. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, how much time? Uh, we still have 20 minutes. Okay, we got more than enough time to get in here and do this. Uh, you say you got me, but I'm like, but you don't got me. Not really sure how you got me. You ain't got me. You ain't got me. Welcome back, Canadian Gamer. Hope you're having a decent day, man. Alright, so we're out here to do a little bit of salvage. Because Dad needs money. I can't upgrade to the Church of Burt with my Corsair if I don't have cash. Uh, we are currently under the gun, though. Estimated time until security arrives is, uh, like, freaking 19 minutes. We got 20 minutes to fracture this, this, uh, this b-hole. That's definitely not the one I wanted. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, let's do this. Boom. All right, we're just going to get right in here. We're going to get the nitty gritty. 18 minutes until security gets here. Got to make this count. There we go. Okay, fracturing. Thank you. I get jealous? Nope. No, if I was, you trust me, I, I think you, you guys would know if I was actually like jealous. Definitely not something I suffer from. Definitely not something that, uh, I, I, it's not an affliction I suffer through, so. Uh, back in high school, definitely was a thing. As a grown-ass freaking adult, though? Hell no. A bigger fish to fry. <laughs> Alright, come on. Let's go. Street. Here we go. Yeah. All right. I'll take that. I'll take that for a dollar. No, I was just responding to the notion. Talking about it doesn't mean uh, that it's what you believe. In fact, that is incredibly incorrect. 
that is some false thinking on your part, sir. That's fine. Not everybody, uh, you know, knows the correct way to think about things. It's, it's fair. It happens. It's all right to be wrong. There's no crime in it. The real question I have to ask you though, Canadian Gamer, you don't have to answer this, but I'm gonna ask you this. Why do you feel the need to try to get a reaction out of people? Or me, in general. But I feel like that that seems like a pretty solid question. Because every action has an opposite yet equal attraction? I don't with others. Okay, so you find it amusing. But the real question is why do you find that particular action amusing? And am I currently psychoanalyzing you? Yes, definitely. Am I in a position to probably do that? No, I'm not a professional. Have I dealt with enough people trying to mess with me? Definitely. <laughs> am I okay with it? No, not usually, not generally. Especially being that I am actually bipolar. It's usually not a good thing for me. And it, it's, it's, it tends to be an activity that I, I, I try to avoid being around. Because I, I've, here's the thing. So being that I am, I am diagnosed as bipolar. I live life unmedicated. I tend to then avoid people in situations um, that people go out of their way to intentionally try to garner a specific type of reaction out of me because I find that behavior to be uh, potentially toxic and very unhealthy, not for just me, but for also it is unhealthy on the on the other side, the person who is trying to gain that reaction. It is un, an unhealthy mental state for them to want to see somebody have a specific type of reaction, if you, if you understand what I'm saying. And I get it, we all have our thing. I'm not, I'm not saying that we don't, but... Uh, what is that? That's a Kruger. Oh! Oh, you know what? Don't worry about that. I ain't worried about that. Nope. Okay. We're full. We're technically trespassing right now, so let's get the actual F out of here, because that's not a healthy thing. Uh, so we're over top of Hurston. Well, Ita, specifically. Uh, so let's head to HTMS Woodruff. Because that is a good jump point, or point to jump to, I mean. One side again, shitty gambit, what? They're looking for X reactions so they can do Y. It's baiting, it is baiting, yeah. Joke's on you, I don't give an F. One side of Gambit, my bad. Didn't mean to trigger some. No, no, no. No, gamer. A as you can see, though. And hear me out here. You're probably some troll in a basement. Yep, me. <laughs> I've done that before too, though. I've done that before too. Um, no. I no. hear me out. Okay, so I tend to avoid interacting with people who are trying to who intentionally go out of the way to try to to get a rise out of me right i i tend to after a certain time just stop acknowledging people for doing that and i i understand for for you it's like a comedic thing but 
I'm, I'm just explaining my side because, again, as someone who is a human being who has been diagnosed as being bipolar, there are certain types of interactions that I do have to avoid for my state as well as others, right? For, for me to maintain a certain healthy mental state, but also to then not become this seething demon of rage. And, uh, you know, 13 plus years of work into this to, to get to a point where I don't require medication, um, which is nice because I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Some of the medication that they stick you on for being bipolar is actually worse. The side effects are worse than what you're dealing with. It's not a good time. It, it's not a great state. It, it like it, it fucks with you physically. Um, it, it can actually increase the which really blows my mind that pharmacology has gotten to a point where they're like that the warnings and the side effects are worse than what you're treating no no no. and you know what like i it's not that i don't expect it as a streamer i do i i fully expect it to happen as a streamer so i just like to make sure that people are aware that's why i do like lexapro was no lexapro isn't good for anyone um, so the first one of the the last one that I was actually on was called Cymbalta. They started me with a 30 milligram dose, which is the standard dose for a, a grown adult. 30 milligrams once a day. After three weeks, it was having no effect. They upped it. My doctor then upped it. And this was the last dance. Um, the uh, then the doctor upped it to 60 milligrams. Right, three weeks, still no effect. Now here was the the one effect that it did have because Cymbalta is also used to treat extreme nerve pain. So my nervous system felt great. I still felt like shit. So we're six weeks in. No, and Canadian gamer, that's 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 again. I'm not trying to come down on you. Uh, and, and as you can see, like by my demeanor, I'm not like super heated about it either, right? Like, it's okay. It happens. And uh, again, it's not something that I hide either, right? Like I, for a long time, one of the tags for my stream was bipolar. Right? I had a drug that was basically making me a zombie. Modern medicine loves pills. Even yeah, Carlin definitely. Yeah, pop, pop, two in the mouth. That's pretty much exactly it. But it, it got to a point where I was on 120 milligrams daily of Cymbalta. And I went from my emotional state doing the, you know, you're in the manic state. So bipolar, is, it states, bipolar is you have two states, right? There, There is this, the third state is kind of an in-between, but it's just, the, the in-between isn't really super level, right? No, 120 milligrams is not a small amount, but it was it, the dosage was increased slowly over time because number one, I am a human that is incredibly drug resistant. Um, uh, so uh, for me, I've got to like triple the dose of freaking Tylenol for it to have any kind of pain killing effect to even numb. Like it's just right. Like and that was the thing. So it was a slow increase over time. But the, the, the thing that killed me. Right. Yeah, can't flood the. Yeah, I can't flood that brain barrier. No, you can't just like. Right. I so I need to remind myself sometimes of the diagnosis. But the thing is though is um so this is why I'm very adamant about my meditation practice. This is why I lead a very strict like a very regimented lifestyle. Because the alternative isn't fun for me, if that makes sense. Right. So I it's preferable to the alternative. But the point is, I've been able to come to a point where I can manage it without pharmacology. Right? And that, yeah, exactly. Sleep is important to me. I don't drink a whole lot of alcohol. I don't do drugs, right? Um, like, I'm very meticulous about my diet, like food and everything, too, because of it. Right? Like, what, what you consume has a huge effect on you. It's why I avoid like a lot of crappy kind of like junky foods. It's why I don't eat a lot of stuff with sugar in it. Like I avoid a lot of things because I know uh, what some of the trigger points are for it. Right. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I would rather not. 
as much as I miss eating like stupid amounts of chocolate, I would rather not if that sugar when I crash is going to have a detrimental effect on my my mental state. I'm like, nah, fuck that. It ain't worth it, you know? Definitely not worth it. Oh no, we did yeah, we just wedged this. Dad screwed that up. Actually, I might be able to, we can fix this. Hold on. Aha, okay. So But that's the thing. Like I and I'll be honest, like it's one of those I'm not ashamed of having that diagnosis either. Because here's the thing, growing up, there was a lot of shit that just There was a lot of stuff that did not make sense to me that once I had a proper diagnosis and again, I was diagnosed like 14 years ago now, but until I had that proper diagnosis, there was shit that just went on with me that didn't make any freaking sense, right? For anxiety and that's the only time I, yeah, so here's the thing. So alcohol is a depressant, right? We know this. Right? Sci it's science backed, like alcohol is a depressant. If you suffer from any any form of depression, last thing you should be doing is drinking. Just like the last thing you should be doing is drugs. Right? And it yes, and a sleep burner. Yeah, it is definitely a dehydrator. There's no doubt about that shit too, right? But And that's the thing, like when when yeah. Yeah, ADHD, right? Like, and that's the thing. It's surprising how many grown adults are now being diagnosed with ADHD. Oh, yeah, no. Alcohol definitely is a chemical imbalance. And that's the other thing I have to be very, you know, very on top of and aware of, too, right? Is keeping keeping certain chemicals in balance. So if I don't, the alternative is not fun for me or for anyone around me. And I'd rather, I don't turn, so... I can turn into a rage machine. Hi, Nuts Life. I can turn into a rage machine. I have done a lot of work on myself as a person to avoid that. I had a game planned and just got, uh, that sucks. Sorry to hear that, Nuts Life. Isn't that just kinda, you know, on par for the course though? Uh, but again, it's, it's not like it's been some great secret here either. I've been very open about me being bipolar and I'm not embarrassed by it. And I would rather openly discuss it and, and like say, Hey, like, and it, not enough. Pe oh, opponent didn't, didn't get enough. Yeah. And that right. Exactly. Mental health stigma does isolate a lot. And I would rather not. And that's the thing. I would rather not hide it. And I, I've been very, very open about like the importance of mental health. And, and, you know, we all have something. Like we all, and, and, and when I say we all have something, I don't mean that we all have something like, but not all of us have ADHD. Not all of us are ADD. Not all of us have bipolar. Not all of us are bipolar. Not all of us have borderline personality disorder or anything like that, right? Like, but a lot of, exactly. Every brain is different. Some move faster. Very true. The thing is though, the one thing I, I, I'm noticing and it is good to see that people are more willing to talk, right? Yeah. I, here's so the other thing the crazy thing is like so for instance being bipolar there is a spectrum for that right 
And there are, yeah, in some cases, there are some, some strengths that do come. It's crazy, but it's true. So it just shows how, yeah, it's all chemical. Yeah. Which we've proven, yeah, you can change it, right? So that's the thing. Like, while I have this pension, and it is something that I've dealt with for a lot of years, I'm not embarrassed by it. I'm very open about it. I don't, I, I used to be embarrassed by it, right? Yeah, stomach acid puppetry, I mean, dude. The uh, microbiome in our gut, it's kinda, that shit's crazy. That shit is legitimately crazy. But it is, the one thing I, I like truly do love seeing though is more people, oh, we're taking that. More people being open and talking about it, right? Probably why cancer is up so big. Yeah, because, yeah stomach trip clean. Because we're not eating properly. We're, we are not eating properly, right? And that's that's going to be it. Our, it. A lot of it, it all comes down to diet, right? All comes down to diet. But it's it, if you think about it, though, it is absolutely crazy. How much can be fixed with some... Not fixed, but it can be alleviated with dietary changes. Something simple. Food. Processed sugar. Freaking high fructose corn syrup, right? Good old corn syrup. Because everybody loves that sweet corn. Inflammation science is pretty strong now. Yes, it is. It really is. All right, so... We're gonna we're gonna go make us an extra 80k here. Yo, have put those corn syrup. You know them them artificial sweetness. That is why. Yeah, that is like. Uh, you mean cornbread? <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah it, it's it's not it's not white bread. It's cornbread. <laughs> it's corn sugar. You know that's right. It's cornbread. <laughs> yeah, you mean corn? Yeah. Oh, do, do you like your <laughs> white bread well corn? I don't. <laughs> oh no, but I love me some creamery fresh salted sea salted butter on my freaking cornbread. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on with my audio? What the hell was that bullshit? Boss. <laughs> it's everywhere. Over here for regular bread, the normal is zero grams of sugar added. There's lots of good bread here, too. Well, there is. But I mean, the more red... But here's the thing, though, is so... Well, Nutslife is in Europe, specifically in the Netherlands, and their their food regulations are way fucking stricter than they are here in North America. Way stricter. So, bread manufacturers over there, can you buy a loaf of bread in, the, in, in a grocery store? Yes. But it has to have zero grams of sugar. The bread is not supposed to have sugar added to it. Bread is not supposed to be sweet. It's not sweetened. Bread is not supposed to have the sugars in it. So that's the thing. That's the crazy thing. If you if you look at a lot of the EU nations, the food regulations over there are stupidly strict. Like what we what a lot of food manufacturers get get away with over here in North America, they won't get away with in freaking Europe. It's big in the US because we said yeah, we subsidize it heavily, right? Exactly. Make yeah, make farmers happy and win votes. Is for the average, yeah, it's for the average loaf, right? EU doesn't have the field space and it's lower importance. Well, not necessarily. It's not really that it's lower importance, right? It's just that over there, like over there, farmers, farmers, there's a lot of farmers that are subsidized there too. Their drug, re yeah, their drug regulations are stupid strict. Yeah, so yeah. Drug re regulations in the EU are far stricter than they are here in Canada. Canada is even stricter than the U.S., though, right? 
better bushes per dollar on other things. Yeah. Well, and here's the thing. So Zool is actually coming at this from a point of um, of education because she works for a, medi a medical equipment manufacturer. So because the, the company that she works with is in medicine, she's aware of what the guidelines are in Canada, in the U.S., and in the EU. And it's it, it varies from country to country because we've already had these conversations, right? And it's freaking insane. This this how strict it is over there is holy balls you can't break wind without five people th saying it's okay it's like wow but there's a reason because you're supposed to yeah nordic countries are strict but it's good and well regulated right did work i mean yeah because war crimes yeah there's some war crimes in there bear <laughs> shit Ooh, yeah the war crimes <laughs> Bear aspirin. Let's uh, control this. Yeah, <laughs> war crimes make. You, yeah, war crimes do make you worried, right? Is that true? I, well, I mean, listen, you can be in deep shit. It's true. It's possible. Yeah. That, no, I no. You, I know you're serious. I'm very aware of the war crimes that were committed by Bear. <laughs> I know. I you, you, listen. Internment camps, right? No, don't even apologize for it. It's the reality of it. Ooh. Okay. So we're gonna have enough fuel to make this last little bit of a jump. No, you, you, that, and that's the thing. Like, no. Our, it's not so much a high road, but it is to prevent that from happening in the future, right? Like,. We understand why there are certain countries that have very strict regulations. Same for other regulations. Look at Apple need, uh, Apple needing to go USB-C charging forced by the, uh, forced by, uh, the EU. Uh, Germany has real concern about that hands-on, yeah. Yeah, no, I, kn I know you meant EU. I knew you meant EU, don't worry. Don't worry, I understood. OM6, you son of a bitch. Sheesh. Love that. Not enough fuel. No kidding. I wasn't trying to jump the freaking arc. Uh, where the German goes and you, you goes. Right. So the whole objective, objective here. We got 52 minutes until this uh, until security shows up on site. It is kind of convenient though if I forget to charge my phone before work and forget my charger, I just use my PC charger on uh, to top up. That see exactly. Top. We'll get to this, uh, Connie. I may not get in fast charge features. Well, that's the thing. You can still charge. You might not necessarily get fast charge, but you can at least charge, right? All right. So. There's a constellation. We've got 51 minutes. We got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Provided security isn't already out here lurking somewhere because they sometimes are. I've had a couple of. Okay, no, we seem to be all right. I, for a second there, I got real nervous. I was like, oh, here we go. Here we fucking go. No, 
Nope. Oh, but slow down, slow. Oh, okay, there we go. Woo! Need them space brakes, baby. Get in here. Yeah, trespassing. Don't shh. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm here on contract. It's okay. Well, no. Like, no. The thing is, though, is look at how. Do, do you know how much Apple made or how much Apple spent trying to fight the EU on that? They tried to fight it. They spent millions on that. Like, it was stupid. They spent so much money trying to fight the EU. And the EU is just doing the whole, like, listen, there needs to be a fucking industry standard. You clowns aren't... Listen, you're part of the problem, not part of the solution. Well, I mean, yeah, it does eventually become decent cash either way, right? But, okay, well, we just made 80k. Now we're going to make more. Well, no, but it should have been. That's the thing. USB should have been standardized. Because, well, we went from micro USB to USB-C. USB-C, uh, I'll be honest, USB-C is just a far better standard, right? They are... Yeah, not data wiring. That, no, that I agree with. That is the issue. The connector is standard. USB-C connector is standard. But the, uh, the freaking data connection, the wiring is not. That should be standardized. For data, data and wiring, that should be a, uh, a standard. Yeah, the connector is the only thing that's a standard. Which is dumb. I can get fast charging out of my PC. I have one port that is USB uh, USB uh, USB one, uh, 3.1 that allows for fast charging uh, through a USB C uh, cable. Like it goes from a USB uh, USB A to a USB uh, USB C, and I can I and I actually have a USB C uh, fast charging port in the back of my PC as well, part of the motherboard. Okay, so. Let's go back down. Okay, so uh, let's remove the auto eject. I want to do this one at a time. Yeah, but I ain't put my phone on that. <laughs> I want that for other stuff. Actually, you know what? Let's. There we go. Okay. Easy there, bud. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm getting real nervous here. Data versus power versus speeds. Ah, there you go. Mm, actually, let's do that. You might be wondering, why is he doing this manually? Well, because I don't want a whole bunch of them just spitting out while I'm trying to, you know... 
I sometimes you just gotta slow shit down a little bit. You just gotta slow things down a bit. You know, it's okay to slow things down a little bit. Ain't gonna hurt nobody none. All right. Anyway. Excuse me. It can. There we go. My Yuan, let me in, please. Thank you. Oh shit! Oh god damn it! Throw that down there. Okay, so something, something is afoot at the Circle K. <laughs> Shit. All right, fine, 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 fine. You're going to be a pain in my ass. Fine. All right, that's fine. You need to be a pain in my ass then. God damn it. Listen, I'm just a humble man here trying to make, a, trying to earn a, a legitimate living. Okay. Y'all are just slowing my shit down. God damn it. Moose to Chernobyl mutant wolves appear to have developed a resistance to cancer study. Finds moves to Chernobyl. I mean, you know. Oh, buddy. Just remember, you can't squeeze the juice. Lady <laughs> land is cheap. Oh my God. Land is cheap. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this. Dad's getting smarter. Dad's getting smarter. Getting smarter. Getting smarter, chat. Sort of smarter. Okay. I think we're good. What do we got left? Three. All right. We got three in there. Let's, uh, let's fill ourselves up. Okay. We're going to holster that weapon. Holy hell. Yeah, Moose to Chernobyl. Yeah, land is cheap. I wonder why the land in Chernobyl is cheap, chat. I mean, I'll give you three guesses. You're only going to need one. Three guesses. You only need one. Chow. Why would the land in Chernobyl be cheap? Oh shit. Who's shooting at me? Shit. Nope. The fuck is shooting at me? Anybody? Oh, God damn. Who the fuck is shooting at me? 
Oh, but... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, let's go! What the hell is going on here? Oh, come on. Yeah, there's nobody on the radar now, but I don't know, like... Holy shit, it took forever! Okay, we're going to Seraphim. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy crap! I didn't know this thing could fly without those... Oh, yeah, I can fly, barely. <laughs> Holy shit, it's so bad. Oh my god, it's so bad. I'll give you six guesses, one per finger. <laughs> I'll give it one per finger. Oh my god. Holy shit, Chad. That was dumb. That wasn't security either. I don't know who the hell that was, but that was not security. That was another player. God damn it, Bobby. <laughs> Shit. Oh, that is rough. That is rough. That is rough. Oh, shit. That was rough, man. <laughs> God damn. It's a lot safer than going to Grim Hex. Please proceed to sign landing. Oh, so the Riva MSI issue was with Race Labs, not the game. See again, I've never had an issue with it though. Did you watch King of the Hill? Uh, not, I, not as much as I did, like, The Simpsons back in the day, no. I watched a little, little bit of it. God damn it, Bobby. I've always had problems with Race Labs, that's why I went with Caps. Yeah, too bad Caps isn't being kept up to date anymore. And eventually Caps will stop functioning, which is a shame, right? Because it was good software. My problem with Caps was it was just, I didn't like the visual aesthetic of it. It was way too basic, especially for streaming. But uh, you know what? It was purely functional for a lot of people and that, that at the end of the day is the most important part, I guess. Because not everybody is uh, as concerned with aesthetic. But I find I'm drawn more to watching live streamers who have a better visual aesthetic for the the stuff on their screen. Okay. Uh no, devs for dev for caps was in Russia. 
And that's why the devs thought that the de it was a single person there in Russia and the dev, the way you paid for it was through subscribing through Twitch, right? So there's nothing that, it, there's nothing that they could do, right? Because with the sanctions and everything, Twitch couldn't pay the, the creator, right? So American company. Got to follow them rules. So, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> we got jumped while we were, uh, clearing up a ship. As you can see, <laughs> we're missing, we're, smi we're missing one of the freaking Sponsons. There, it's gone. We got jumped by a player, by a player. <laughs> Uh, funny enough, because we were in an asteroid field, they apparently died, <laughs> and I didn't shoot them. All I got was friendly fire. I warned a friendly fire, but I wasn't firing on them, um, which means, and then they died because they blew up in an asteroid field. So pirate couldn't even pirate properly. <laughs> the pirate couldn't pirate properly. So we're just, uh, we're just gonna be nice and easily cruising through here, <laughs> so... Cause Seraphim Station, you know. I like the radar as I personally think it's the best of all the overlays. Having, having radar in iRacing is actually pretty solid. I don't use it. I just use a 5.1. I use radar. Audio is not going to give you a good enough indicator of if somebody's right beside you, like right, right on the, like right on that back corner. Well, you've got an ultra wide though too. So, I mean, you probably have it so you can see your fucking mirrors. I can't. My main mirror is facing hard to right. Yeah, I don't blame you for that. Not one little bit. Hey, server recovery. I love this new server recovery. No more 30Ks, chat. No more 30Ks. I have an ultra wide, but my FOV is correct, so I don't see any mirrors. God, oh Lord, that is, oh, somebody just exploded over there. Woo. I don't know how I feel about that. Somebody just exploded over there. <laughs> Get wrecked, nerd. Somebody just exploded. Do -da -ha, do -da. Okay, we're gonna, I'm going into VTOL mode, even though this is probably the worst goddamn idea ever. So we got shot to shit, Chet. I would love, I wish, so a couple of things I wish, and this isn't a, this isn't a need. This is, this is purely a want. What I want, right? Or what I wish I had. Oh no! Oh, this is oh this is oh it's bad. Oh god damn it. Nope. So I have no control over what's happening right now. None. No control. No control, chat. I have, I have my throttle zeroed completely out. It was as soon as we got in to gravity. So the gravity, the gravity of the station took over because the ship. I 
I love how, so, I love how it's shit. Time to learn balancing in the MDF. The MDF doesn't do shit for this. In this case, doesn't do squat. But what I would like is to actually have space for a proper. Oh God. I would love to have space for a proper, um, come on, come on, come on, come on. I, I just want a proper freaking cockpit, you know what I mean? Oh shit, okay, 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 come on. Are we, are we down? Can I, can I, can I flip it? Let's see if this counts as a landing. <laughs> it sure shit doesn't look like it does, but. Ultra wide isn't as good, but since I work at this machine, sanity is 1,000 higher. That's, I did enjoy triples though. Oh, I, see, and that's the thing. I would love to have a cockpit set up for like an actual proper rig for the racing stuff and the flight stuff all together, right? And I don't need to have like some ultra, giant ultra wide thing. I would go, I would love to just have three 32 inch, 1440p screens running at about 144 hertz i don't need more than 1440p but three of them right so properly set up at 32 inches so they're close enough to you you've got the screens beside you gives you a really nice freaking angled you know clean freaking setup because i don't again 55s you don't need 55s you can get away with 32s 32 inch they don't have to be super high end just a good IPS, good IPS screen, 1440p, 32 inch, right? All right, so, um, it fixed it, kind of, a little bit. I'm, I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not really big on this landing, chat. This is definitely not one of my best. But under the circumstances, any landing you can walk away from is a good one, right? At least that's what they say. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, we're getting out of here. Run. It did fix it. But you happen to notice because of how we landed. Oh shit. Okay. You know what? Let's, let's see if I can. Bobby. Go, 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 before the, before the vulture explodes, let's get it put away. Welcome. Before it to explodes! System. Store it. Oh, <sighs> shit. I wonder if this is the donut who tried to shoot me, you dickhead. Uh, we're going to check the vulture momentarily, but first we're going to go and sell the cargo. So I have a stinking suspicion. We just paid over 8k for freaking repairs. Don't want to be doing that again. Uh, Galleria? Yeah, Galleria. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Cargo center. Let's go to cargo center. Let's do the cargo center. Let's check. We're gonna check something, chat. They're coming along for the ride. We're gonna go to the cargo services. We're gonna see if they have a kiosk. And if at this kiosk. Well, hello there. Can't, good? Uh, can't do shit at the logistic. I can't Can wait until this, this shit works, man. Oh, 
that's gonna be so good. Rentals? Y'all got rentals in here now? Shit. Freelancer? Titan. You're welcome to use it. This it? Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Nope. I don't want the vehicle terminal. Uh, your lighting's a little fucking weird, but okay. Mm. Maintenance crews? No, can't do. Okay, so. Sell. Drake Vulture. Okay, no. So, can't sell anything here. That's fine. That's kind of what I wanted to see. Interstellar Trans... This is the other thing I'm looking forward to. We're going to end up with the Interstellar Transport Guild. So, you're going to actually end up having reputation if you're doing hauling jobs, like cargo jobs, with the, with a, with the Transport Guild. You're also going to end up being able to get... Like, there's going to be a guild specifically for salvage as well. Okay, so we do need to go to the gallery. We've got to go into um, the admin office to sell our goodies. Fair enough, let's go. Folks, if you're just joining us, welcome. It's Friday. Hello. Where are your video games today? What games are you playing? We already know uh, Two Slider spends an awful lot of time in iRacing, as does Old Canadian Gamer. They seem to be very good at it too. I myself am a potato and I haven't raced in almost a year. It's been almost a year since the last time I was actually in iRacing. You know the really stupid part? I'm still paying $13 USD a month for that. $13 American a month. Yeah, worth it. Yeah, worth it for the guy who's not using it. <laughs> like, worth it. Not using it. How's it going? If you need help with cargo, I can just find the terminal. There we go. That's right. Take all of it. Take all of it. Oh, thank God. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. It says road to 6K uh, because we're not at 6,000 followers on Twitch. So the road to 6K is for 6,000. Road to 6,000 followers. 6K. Yeah, followers. I, you know what? Like, hey, if somebody wanted to throw down and give us 6,000 freaking subscriptions, I'd be all right. No. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. In I racing? Psh, <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, I can barely hold 1,000. No. No, it is it, the the road to 6K is purely for uh, for followers. Purely followers. But I mean, you know what? Like if somebody wanted to throw down and throw 6,000 subscriptions our way, I wouldn't turn that down. Cuz you know you know what? You no, know hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want uh, quick maths, quick maths. Well, it's not really necessarily quick, because frankly, it's a little bit more than quick. That would be fifteen thousand three hundred dollars. There are people who make that a day on this platform. Top driver is 11,052. Casey Kerwan is 10K. Wow. Not to pat my back, almost 2K in sprint cars in two weeks. That's not bad. That's, dude, you should be proud of that. That's some hard ass work. That is some hard ass work. Be proud of that. That's chonky. Welcome. To the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Vehicle, your vehicle has been delivered. Okay, hangar two. Oh, that we're definitely not going through the mystery door. Nope. Now go up a series, it becomes bloody. Uh, hangar two. I have to get out of these and sprint cars first. Yeah. 
Sometimes that's easier easier said than done, right? You're 3.61 right now, and you need what four? You need a 4.0, right? If I remember correctly, top 50% is 1,200. Four to be season. It be in. Okay, yeah. So if the season was rolling over, you would be promoted right now, but. In order, it has to be 4.0 to be in season, right? Okay, I forgot about that. Yeah. Um, so we're currently, it's currently what, season two for 2024 now? Or is it still season one? I think it's still, wait, still season one, still season one, right? What, eight, uh, week eight? End of one. Oh, so it's coming up. End of one. All right. Hey, there we go. Back up to 325,000. That's nice. No servant. Hey, look at that, chat. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? All right. Um, while we're out here, let's see what we can do. That, mm, eh, mm, nope, 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 nope. Okay. Uh, let's do maintenance. No. Not really doing a whole lot of salvage. Yeah. Call the arms clear, security assessment. Don't really want any of that. Uh, personal. Let's go back into the salvage. RSI. There we go. A accept offer. Okay. We're going to take another one of these. Even though this was a terrible idea the last time, we're still going to do it. Because why the hell not, right? Okay. You are ready to launch. Seems to be an awful lot of traffic outside right now. I'm not sure how I feel about this. But at least the ship's fixed. So it's not that bad. understand is why Seraphim Station is such a bunch of bullshit to deal with, if you catch my meaning. Definitely don't want that. Obstructor for OM4, okay. OM1, there we go. Okay, let's, let's hit OM1. can barely get around cor some corners without the thing fishing out. Scared to do to Laguna Beach. It's week 9 of 13 in season 1. Average rating is 1550. What for you right now? Is that the average rating? That's the uh, average I rating for the drivers you're racing against. That's high racing. Oh, that's high racing. It's like, really? So that means if you're getting, if you end up anywhere with anyone like in around three, four, five K, you're dealing with a freaking alien. Is that what you're trying to say? I feel like that's what you're saying. It's an, they're, they're an alien.
Okay, there's a Connie. We've got 56 minutes left. We're just gonna, again, this is gonna be a quick little scoop and scoop. KDK. Alright, let's get in here nice and close. It's fine. Don't worry, we we're listen, we're here. We're we're here on contract. It's okay. Don't don't be getting no don't don't get don't be getting all salty and shit. Don't worry. sure how I feel about the way these things are coming apart now. They used to come apart with uh, way less of a problem, I guess. They weren't just like parts weren't just like flying all over the goddamn place, I guess is the best way to describe it. Okay, uh, yeah, we're filled up, so we're gonna get the hell out of here because I'd rather not stick around. You know what I mean? After our last incident where we got fucking jumped, I'd rather not get jumped by another player <laughs> being out here and this close to, uh... It was kind of a dickbag thing to do, too, because we're just in a salvage ship, but... And we didn't, I uh, didn't have any kind of a message from anybody. All of a sudden it's like, why are we getting shot? Holy shit, we freaking, I had to, d I was dumping decoy and freaking noise all over the place. Cause it's just like missile, missile, missile. And then we got uh, a warning for friendly fire. I wasn't shooting. And the next thing I know, uh, the target's gone. Cause they had ripped off one of our spawns, one of our freaking tractor sponsons. But the downside is, uh, they ran into, uh, they ran into an asteroid and blew themselves up. So is that kind of an instance of talk shit get hit? Fuck around and find out? It wasn't me, obviously, because I couldn't do anything. So, this is not a combat ship. <laughs> There's nothing combat oriented about this, you know? Well, what you think I'm doing with this thing? We are going to jump to OM1, though. Alright, I should be relative, relatively safe here for me to clean the uh, buffer out. Should be. Should be. Oh, <laughs> we hope. Dad hopes he's safe to be able to clean the buffer out. Okay. We'll auto-eject this time. 
One thing I am noticing is the ejection process is a heck of a lot faster. So that's really good to see. There we go. Hey. I don't watch many other streamers be honored. No, I do appreciate, trust me guys, anybody who's here and anybody who spends any time watching, I appreciate the hell out of you. Like everyone, whether you're lurking or whether you're like full on active, I do appreciate you guys. I like that, are you not entertained? No, I'm not fucking entertained right now. Slider, terrible host, terrible, not entertained. How dare you? <laughs> Give me back my son. This is a good thing I don't have a bounty on me. <laughs> this would be some dangerous shit to be doing right now. This is why I don't do illegal freaking shit in in game. This is why I don't. This is why I don't do none of that piracy shit. This is why I don't kill other players. I will defend myself, but I ain't gonna go out here and murk other people for the sake of enjoyment. I'd rather not. Thanks. It's life much easier when I can just do this in peace. Rather than pieces. Okay. Are we good? We're good. Awesome. Holster. Okay, there we go. Now we can grab one more. Um, the nice thing is, is doing these, we get paid instantly. Like we make 80K. Whether we salvage the ship itself or not, we actually make some money off it, right? So. So there are some benefits to doing these, even though they are uh, questionable. Let's have a quick look and see what we've got on. Let's see what's on the schedule. Salvage. Cutlass Black? Sure, why not? We'll take it. There it is. All right, let's check the skyline. Where are we? The right. Salvage. Okay, so we're pretty close then. Oh yeah, we're real close. Look at that. Oh. Nice. Oh, I did not like that. That did not make me feel very comfortable. Holy crap. Oof. That made me feel very uncomfortable coming through that asteroid. I thought we were for sure we were dead. 100% thought. Oh, here we go. This is this is how dad dies. This is how it happens. Swivel chat. Head on a goddamn swivel. I'm wa 
watching my HUD. I do not want to get murked. Not really, not really big on uh, the list of shit to do today. All right, let's get in here. Ah, my leg did tea. Dry skin be a bitch. All right, let's uh, let's get in here. We're gonna again today's just about making some bucks. What? Why? 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 Who? What? Where? Why? When? Are you not entertained? I mean, listen. Dry skin's a bitch. That's all I can say about that. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Come on, faster is better. Faster is better. Come on. That's fine. Let's go. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Give me a little extra. It's all good. It's all good. There we go. Woo! Mine and head off. And we can now officially get the flock out of here. Where are we going? Is that back to? Yeah, we're just going to head right back to OM1. I do love when you get affiliate. You control people with your own emotes. It's true. You can. It's very true. You can. You know what? And, I, and I'm honestly, I'm, I'm loving your uh, desert salvage reclam uh, reclamation crew there. So, I should now be able to. We're gonna, we're gonna. We're gonna pull a whole bunch of goodies out of storage. Okay, uh, let's go. Oh, all right. No more auto eject. We're just gonna eject these one at a time. One at a time, champ. One at a time. Um, uh, we'll do two there. And actually, you know what? We'll do. Okay, that there. Ah, don't. I'm like, oh God, please don't. Whoa, 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 whoa. We can't have that bouncing around like that. Ew, that's dangerous. That is super dangerous. Okay, this is what we're gonna do then. I mean, fuck it, do that. God damn it, Bobby. God damn it, Bobby. You like GP, they have officially released the fixed and open GP tour dates? Interesting.
Oh, God, this is getting... It's turning into the world's worst game of Jenga, chat. World's worst game of fucking Jenga. Full stop. All right, we can't do that one yet. Not yet, not yet. You stop bouncing, sir. Oy. World's worst game of Jenga. I thought that was going to pop. <laughs> I'm like, no! Like, don't you dare, sir. Don't you fucking dare. All right. Um, oh. oh. All right. Ah, uh, crap. I mean, can I possibly get one? Can't, can't. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's. Okay. Um. That's getting dicey, chat. That is getting super dicey. Okay, uh, maybe that's not gonna work the way I want it to. Fuck. You know what? That's fine. Okay, no, that's fine. <laughs> God damn it. The earthquake that rattled Hawaii has been downgraded to a mag- Still! 6.3 after 10 a.m. No tsunami is expected. I hope not. That'd kind of be, like, absolute crap if there was a tsunami. Downgraded to a magnitude of 5.7. Interesting that they were able to like that. It, it, I find like earthquake classifications are very unusual. Okay, we're back up to oh, almost half a million, and that's not including what we currently have for cargo. All right, let's see if we can maybe grab one more of these. Have we got one more. Right, let's go. Quick, easy, freaking 80k. Let's go. 80k, baby. 80k. Is it cheese? Yes. Do I care? Definitely not. Why? Because it's easy money. Was there any, were there any casualties because of the, like, in, what kind of, what kind of, like, what kind of, what level of property damage are we talking here? No reports as of yet. So that was, was that, that was 10 a, that I'm guessing that was 10 a.m. local time, right? For them. Okay, that's the RSI, that's Connie. Residents on Big Island reported feeling significant shaking. The, tre uh, the, tr the tremor was felt as far away as Oahu. Wow, that's, Damn. All 
right, again, head on a swivel. We've got 58 minutes. And all I'm looking to do is, ooh, shit. Oh, we're coming in too hot, coming in too hot. Shit. All right, there we go. Getting nice and close. Not scraping it, we're not scraping it. inside 50 meter range okay, we're good. was located about 1.5 miles southwest of Pahala it was reportedly at a depth of 22 miles wow sheesh Major damage or injuries, that's good. That's always good to hear that there's never, like, when there's no, uh, you know, no pot, like, no report of any major significant damage or any kind of major injuries or anything. Well, I already know this target yield gets us way over the, but this is the important part to get rid of anyway. All right, there we go. Tanks are full, baby. All righty, let's, you know what? OM2, yeah, we'll head to OM2. That seems like a good spot. And then from there, Here's a question. If you were playing the part of a pirate and you came up on somebody in, in, in a Drake Vulture, just minding their own business, they're just doing some salvage work, and you started shooting at them, and they, they, they you know, dip, duck, dodged, weave, and dove all over the damn place, dropped a whole bunch of decoys and noise to, to, to throw off your missiles, Lost one sponson and you flew into a into an asteroid and died because of that. Not because you took any return fire, but purely because you sucked as a pilot. How pissed off would you be? How mad do you how do, how mad would you be? Be honest, how mad would you be? There we go. There we go. Over half a million over half a million credits. Oh, it's beautiful. We started with under a hundred thousand. And we're not doing anything major here either. That's the best part. Okay, we're gonna you know what? We're we're going We're going home. We're heading back for new cabbage. Good old new cabbage. There we go. How mad would you be? You put in all that effort trying to destroy somebody, doing 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 an honest day's work out out doing some salvage, and you died to an asteroid because you were a terrible pilot. How mad would you be? Now, would you be mad because you flew into the asteroid because you weren't paying attention like a goober? Would you be mad because your target that you were trying to, you know, potentially freaking destroy got away? Or mad over the entire situation? There we go. Bazaar.
All right, and done. Okay. All right, here we go. So we're on our way back to Microtech to New Cabbage. That's right. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna keep referring to it as New Cabbage. You guys get bad about it. Just means that you know. I, I have zero shame, shame about it. We can ring shame. the shame bell, but I'm gonna be honest. I have no shame, shame in it. None. No shame. Zero. Folks, if you're just joining us, or you've been hanging out the entire time, thank you so much for your lurk. I appreciate you. Thanks for being here. There are tens of thousands of other streamers on this platform that you'd be watching right now, and you guys choose to hang out here, and I really do appreciate it, so thank you for that. I uh, think, though, what we're going to be doing here shortly, as you can see, it's getting dark behind me. I think as soon as we, uh, we're going to, I want to see how much I'm going to make from this. So we're already up over, oh, really? Oh, okay, fine. I mean, sure. There we go. 565,439 alpha UEC. That's not bad considering we started below 100,000 today. I might almost have enough money to upgrade the Corsair to turn it into the Church of Burt. That is the plan. All about turning it into the Church of Burt. All right, fuels at 75%. Thank you. Nice computer lady. Um, okay, you know what? While we're... While we're doing this, hold on. I want to see what, what is what is currently in there. Real. I see Sister Snowy has been posting in the Discord again, and it's mildly disturbing as to what's going on. Her memes are terrible, like her puns. And I think the only reason that uh, she, she's uh, she's not here is because she refuses to pay the pun tax. There's a pun tax, chat. I'm gonna be honest with you. There's a fucking pun tax. If you don't pay the pun tax, you can't use the dad jokes or the puns in here. You can't come off and be all punny in here. So as you can see, we've got, uh, we're, we're actually making pretty good time here so far. We're doing all right. We're doing a decent amount of time. Uh, this was kind of the uh, whole idea behind, and this is why upgrading your ships, when you buy in-game ships, actually any of your ships, even the, even the uh, ones that you purchase with real world money to add into the game, you should always make sure you find an actual loadout for them that gives you the benefit of longer jump distances, you utilizing less quantum fuel, um, better power, coolers, um, if you can upgrade the weapons package. All right, well, we're already at 50, uh, we're already at 50% fuel and we're over three quarters of the way there, so. Definitely using a lot less fuel. I cannot wait for the upcoming patch for 2.3, uh, 2.23. As soon as that bad boy hits PTU, I'm gonna be on that like, uh, like a duck on a June bug, 100%. Now, I know that there were some of you who early, uh, earlier this week asked if I was going to take part in the, uh, in the, um, what is it, uh, the World of Trucks event for Valentine's, the, uh, the hearts. I won't be. Uh, probably, chances are we're probably not going to see a return to American Truck or Euro Truck until after 1.50 drops. 
once we know when uh, patch 1.5 comes, like 1.50 comes out for American Truck and Euro Truck, that's probably when we'll return, just because it is a major game engine overhaul, and I do want to see what improvements are coming from that. But as of now, again, the, the problem is there's not enough variability in gameplay in the in the trucking simulators to keep me to keep me interested in it. And you know, it is what it is. Come on, baby. Come on, baby, light my fire. Almost there, let's go. Big money, big money, big money. Let's go. So as you can see, we're almost to Microtech. Almost there. And just for the record, for anybody who might be wondering, there are washroom facilities on the ship. I'm not stopping the ship. If you didn't bring any food or beverage with you, that is on you, not my responsibility. You need to take care of that yourself, okay? I, I'm not I'm not here to supply you with food and drink. That is on you. Washroom facilities, they're there. If you can't if you don't know how a space toilet works, then I don't know what to tell you. You're on your own. Just hold it, go pee in your suit, I don't know, right? But don't you dare leave any kind of a terrible mess on my bed, on my bunk, on the floors back there, in the, in, in, in the, uh, you know, the cargo hold. None of it. New cabbage. As we come in inverted, because power top. Okay, there we go. There's the starport. Got it. Ugh. Nope. Don't need the lights on. We're good. Crusader C1 Spirit. That is the next ship I would actually like to be able to purchase in game is the C1 Spirit. So a couple of, uh, there are two ships for sure that I would like to get my hands on in this game. Um, the C2, the C2 Hercules, the Crusader Hercules C2 and the Crusader Spirit C1. Uh, that is because I do in, okay. Bye, Zool. I'll talk to you later, okay? Oh, we're in the armistice zone. God damn it.
Who we got up here? That is a Constellation Taurus. All right, fair enough. I don't know whose ship it is, but... What is that one? That is an Anvil Carrick? Oh, God, that is... That is a beautiful ship, too. Oh, we're getting all the good stuff now, huh? There we go. Her Crusader C2 Hercules Starlifter. That is... Oh, I want it. I want it, chat. Please proceed to assign landing bay. I want it. That's a star lifter. That's a Karak. Taurus. Karak. Scorpius. Andromeda. Corsair. Man, everybody and their brother seems to be dropping their ships off outside of the outside of the actual spaceport, which is interesting to say the least. Well, I don't see a marker for my ship or for uh, my base, so I would very much like to, you know. There we go. Okay. What? Don't need the lights on. Bay's open. Door's open. Time to crawl our butts in here. I am not exactly sure what the hell is going on up there. It looked like a fucking firefight, though. Whatever it was. Gentle like there you go. See, just like that. Smooth as a baby's backside. All right, we're in. We're good. Uh, let's make sure if we need any repair, we'll get the refuel done. We have more than enough cash for that at this point. I would say that is a salvage day done right. That is a solid day's work for the ship. I think we did well. Back to I'm I'd say we did very well. We started below 100,000 credits today. At one point, we were down to 64 credits. Which is mildly terrifying. 64 Alpha UEC. And right now, before we sell our stuff off, we are at 565,000 Alpha UEC. So just over half a million. We still have a cargo hold full of uh, construction material. So all we've got to do is find the admin office. So that is the one thing. Where's the administration office here? Do we have, there's fleet manager terminals. Yeah, hangar access. Okay, spaceport lobby. 
Uh, mid-level, right? Okay, fine payment, security area. Um, surface. I love the fact that they actually have like a travel board there, like a like an actual airport travel board. That's kind of dope. I, I really do enjoy that. That is nice little touch. But now it's to figure out. So the one thing I never ever figured out is where the administration office is in New Babbage. So I suppose this is going to be a bit of exploration for all of us, unless somebody here right now currently knows where I can find the freaking office. Hospital, Habitats and Hospital, Retail, Business, Food, Entertainment. Okay, well. Fuck. All right, fine. Um, right. All right. We got to wait. Oh, God damn it. I didn't. I just, bam. <laughs> it's totally freaking beating the other camera. Oh. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, that felt better. It feels good. Right, chat. Capsule now approaching station. Stand clear of disembarking passengers. I do rather enjoy the fact that we're not getting 30Ks anymore. That's a lot nicer. Yo, Grub, how are you doing? Good to see you. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, so maybe New Cabbage doesn't... I don't think the Trade and Development Center is going to work because I need an admin office, but I'm not seeing the admin office anywhere. This is fucking problematic. 
very problematic. I'm off work for the day. I've made D&D &D tomorrow. Ooh, yeah, Sunday's, that's right. Sunday's Super Bowl. Sunday is definitely Super Bowl. All right, well, we'll go into TDD, but I'm pretty sure I can't sell the construction material through the uh, frickin' the commodity shop here. We'll check. Yeah. Won't let me sell that here. Fuck. Of course it won't. God damn it. And yet, I can't seem to find the administration. Oh, wait, 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 never mind. Is this. No, it's Kova. Fuck, it's Kovalax. Oi. Make a pro. Chat, Dad just needs to find a goddamn. Planetary services, okay. It better be the spot. I swear to God, I will lose my shit if I can't find it. Planetary, you better, you better be where I need. That goddamn time, Jesus Christ! Can't just call it admin, huh? Can't just make it easy on us. Ooh. Very low inventory. Well, there you go. You can now have that. Okay, and confirmed. That now puts us up to what do we got? Almost seven hundred thousand, and we started below a hundred thousand credits. Now I haven't even actually cleaned my ship fully out. That's just what is on the cargo deck for that ship. I'd say that's pretty good. That's decent. It's not quick money, but the nice thing is it's consistent. It's consistent money with the Vulture. And that, at the end of the day, really is the most uh, most important part of it, right? It's about the consistency. All 100% about the consistency, chat. No matter what you're doing, no matter what you, where you're going, within a video game, sometimes, Consistency is the key. Can we sit on these fucking things yet? Oh, we can't. Wait, hold on. All right, it's not good. God damn it. Oh, there we go. I don't know why. Beanbag chair looks kind of comfy. I wouldn't be ashamed to sit in it. Chat. Hi. It's Friday. It's the weekend. You know what we're going to do now, though? You know what we're going to do? Dad's going to sign out. We're going to, you know, go and see if we can find somebody to, uh, somebody else here on Twitch to hang out with. We're going to go some, spend some time in somebody else's chat. And I really do hope that some of you are more than willing to come along. Now, um, just so everyone is aware, next week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, is going to be Star Citizen. The reason for that is, until the 15th, we are currently under a free fly. If you do not already have a Star Citizen account, by the way, you do not have a Robert Space Industries account, use that link, create your RSI account, it is a free fly until February 15th. So if you've never played Star Citizen or you've always wanted to check it out, now is your time without any physical investment of cash. You do not have to buy a package. This is the time to check it. It is free to, tr to play until February 15th. Use that link provided in chat and go and check it out. Uh, the reason that we're going to be doing this, though, is because it is currently the festivals. Uh, it's the Red Festival and Koromor. Red Festival is effectively the Chinese New Year in Star Citizen. And Koromor is the week-long celebration leading up to Valentine's Day. So, maybe I'll hook the new laptop up to the base. Hey, there you see Grob. 
New laptop. Okay, question. What have you got in the new laptop for a GPU? But yeah, if you don't already, use that link, check it out. 4060, hey, you should be good then. You should be good. Set, you might have to tinker with a couple of the visual, like the graphic settings, but you should be all right. You should be good, Grob. Yeah, ri yeah, Ryzen 7 4060, you're... Yeah, I think you're good, man. You're good. You got this. You 100% probably have to... Yeah, a little bit. Well, the thing is, though, is I'm running a 3080 Ti, right? So you're at least running the next gen, and I'm running a 5900 for a CPU. So you've got a Ryzen 7. So you got the current gen, right? You've got one of the 7000 series, and you got a 4060. Ghost, no, you. You're handsome. But yeah, if you don't already, if you haven't already spent some time in the verse, again, there's a, there's a referral link. Check it out. Um, you'll get a couple extra credits. Uh, the extra credits, though, are for when you purchase your package, but it, right now, until the 15th, free fly. This is the best time to check it out, if you haven't already. Uh, we got a couple of goals that we're going on for. So for every stream that, when we're doing a stream, from start to finish, if we have 20 gifted subs or $100 in tips during that stream, I will then schedule an Arcade After Dark within 48 hours of the stream that we hit that goal. And the reason for that is to give me a little bit of time because we're gonna have some adult bevies. We're gonna have some snacks. We're gonna be playing games that we don't normally play. And it is an after dark, which means it'll be like after 8 p.m. kind of thing, right? So it's gonna be an after dark stream. But that is, that, that, that is kind of the big thing, right? We're trying to shake things up. We're trying to make things a little bit different. We're trying to do, you know, do things not not standard anyways chat i love your faces thanks for the follows thank you for the subs thank you for the resubs the gifted subs the bits and the tips as always chat as always you know the deal around here you know the deal around here you're only allowed to give the tip oh my i don't want any more than just a tip uh as we're heading out though uh i would highly recommend all of you uh you we're gonna go raiding but here's the thing I, I, I need to give you guys a rate call, okay? So just hold on. Right, okay, hold on, hold on, almost done. That's the rate call. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, God damn it. I screwed that up, hold on. I knew I forgot something. Dad screwed that up. Let's try that again, shall we? Let's try that again. There. There's the raid call, chat. That's the raid call. That's the raid call, chat. We're gonna go raiding. You guys ready? I'm gonna find another kind soul here on Twitch. I'm gonna go give him a little bit of love. Show him what's what. tough but I think we're gonna go show hunter some love all right chat I love your faces you got you got that all right there you go dad give me these glasses that's right that's right we're gonna go we're gonna go over to hunter wild uh, Hunter is currently, he is super friendly. He is a friend of the stream. Uh, he is currently messing around with Grain Blue Fantasy Relink, which is JRPG. Uh, ha gives me some OG kind of like uh, Final Fantasy vibes. Uh, but he's been rocking that for a while. I'll meet you guys over there. I love your faces. Have an amazing weekend. I'll see you back here on Monday. Cheers, chat.